Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Look, I will tell you immediately, I have absolutely no idea how to start this live. For what reason? Because I didn't remember what it was to win, and not to win at the 95th minute uh, with a goal out of emotion of a uh, Rugani after a mediocre performance. No, I didn't remember what it was to just win. Win, win win with a convincing second half we have to speak about that first half especially from the 20th until the 45th which was absolutely not good where it was the usual Juventus because what we saw today in the second half was not the usual Juventus it was a diverse Juventus they were doing the minimum request with a lot of mistakes because let's now not now pretend that all the problems all solved that everything is fantastic that we saw fantastic football but it is just the minimum that we were expecting. A minimum in the second half that we were able to do today. A minimum that we were asking. Just the minimum. Show us that you want to play. Show us that you, you care about the shirt that you are wearing. Sh show us that you have still some energy to finish the season. Show us that you remember what it is to put that ball into the goal. To go with shots on target. That you know what it is. How to celebrate. Show us these kind of things. Please. Please. In Dutch we say. Asjeblieft. In French we say. S'il vous plaît. In Italian we say. Per favore. In Spanish we say. Por favor. In Deutsch. In German we say. I don't know. Bitte. 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 In English we say please. That's what we were asking for. Not much more. Not less. Look, I don't know how to start this uh, video, so we will start it at a certain point. Now, I just want one thing. Look, look at this. We have 28,997 Juventini. Today, we go back with a victory that we didn't remember what it was. So find the phone of your mother, your son, your, your, your wife, your girlfriend, your best friend. Find the phone of whoever. You log in and you just subscribe because today... We don't close before we have 29,000 Juventini here on the channel. And if we reach them, we even stay longer. But we need to reach 30,000. Die, one more. One more and we celebrate as we should before saying hello to Rad, to Bogdan, to Sam, to Feles, to Ask, to Hossar, to Takishi. One more Juventino that needs to subscribe. As easy as that. To celebrate the fantastic goal of Dusan Vlaovic. To celebrate the fantastic goal of Federico Chiesa. And by the way, I will ask you a poll. The first poll of the evening. Which goal was more beautiful? Chiesa or... Or Vlahovic? Poll has started and we reached them. <laughs> we reached them. The poll is launched. We reached 29,003 Juventini on the channel. Finally, finally, finally. Now we go towards 30,000 Juventini. And, uh, we never stop. We never stop. We are Juventini. We always want more. What the guys needed to do. Wanting more. Which they didn't after that draw against Empoli. After that loss against Inter. After that loss against uh, Udinese. After that draw against Verona. And so on. And so on. And so on. Oh, ragazzi. 29,005. Grande. Grande Juventus. Thank you to Angelo Paro G. S, grandissimo, thank you, and we increase, and we increase, grande, 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 okay, let's now say something before we start, does that change the opinion of people on the change of coach at the end of the season, probably not, and it should not be, it should not be, so we remain with the same ideas as we have, end of the season, we sit and we change, but I told you something this morning, I want this win, because I want Never are Juventus to lose. It can't be to wishing Juventus to lose. Because a game will not change the destiny. We need to secure playing an extra competition, Supercoppa, if we reach the final. And pay attention. We need to travel on the 23rd of April in Rome to play again against the team of Tudor. So it's not close. We didn't qualify yet. But we need to reach that Italian Coppa final. One. We need to continue to think that we can do something also in Serie A against Fiorentina on Sunday, 8.45pm. 
in our home. Again, I want to see that second half Juve. That is not perfect. And this season we will not see a perfect Juve. Forget about it. A perfect Juve this season, forget about, forget about it. The time is not enough. There are eight games of Serie A. Potentially two more in Coppa Italia. One for sure, hopefully two. So 10 games to play if everything goes well. Well, I want a Juventus of that second half. A Juventus with a bit of balls. A Juventus that at least tries a bit. Of course, it will be tough. Calendar is tough. We need to play against Bologna. We need to play against Roma. We need to play against Milan. We need to play against Fiorentina of Italiano this weekend. So it will be tough. And that game is a mental boost of energy. Especially four days after probably the worst 45 minutes the first half of Juventus this season. Probably the worst of Juventus where we thought, I thought, it is over. We gave up in the other games, but here it is over. It is totally over. People, they disconnected. And I don't know how we will even play nine or ten more games until the end of the season. We changed that. Okay, let me read a bit of your comments. Thank you for this one. I celebrate yes and no, because my target is now 30,000. You know it, eh? And then we move on to the comments of the people. Why is it important to grow as a community? More we have numbers. This is the world. More we have numbers, more we are attractive for ex-players to join the channel to do some things for sponsors to take the channel to make you Juventini dream so we start with that now we start with the comments the first one this evening was Rad Al Harbi my friend 29 months on the channel finally I hope we continue the momentum in Serie A we need at least four or five wins today I calculated psychodrama today I calculated where was it on my paper Atalanta, they will need to play one more game against Fiorentina that they will probably recuperate in the last after Serie A is over. And if they win every game, which should not happen, but you never know, if they win every single game, they will reach 77 points. That's a lot. Of course, they need to win all of them, but when I saw the calendar this morning of Atalanta, and then we will go towards the game of today, but I need to answer the question of the people. Uh, pa, 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 pa. The calendar of Atalanta says that they will play Cagliari, Verona, Monza, Empoli, Salernitana, Roma, Lecce, Torino. A tough game against Torino. They play against Fiorentina as well. They play Roma. So, tough games, huh? All the other ones on paper, they should win it. So pay attention. That means that Juventus, they need to do at least 19 points, which honestly, I don't believe that we will be able to do. So we need also to pray that Atalanta starts losing. Bogdan, thank you. Offering one membership to someone random in the chat. Thank you, Bogdan. Some Mikalev, 20 months. Hopefully this was the boost we needed for top four. I'm happy that some people, they still want that we qualify to top four. That will change everything. Coach, probably change investments on the market for new players that we need so much because today I, it was difficult for me to think who can enter instead of we saw a fantastic beautiful Yildiz entering but for the rest in that midfield that according to me especially in the first half was totally anonymous it was difficult for me to understand who can we really take from the bench Alcaraz entered well, of course, a few minutes, not enough, but he entered well. Today I was watching Alcaraz, I made a joke on the Juventus YouTube channel that I want to repeat here. Alcaraz, when he was writing at school, when he was starting to learn how to write, he didn't write horizontally. Alcaraz, he was writing vertically. The guy is thinking vertical in his head. You know, all the codes, all the information, they are vertical. That's Alcaraz. Vertical, vertical, vertical. No horizontal. And probably that's a player that we miss. Juventus will probably not extend him because the price is way too high. If we can maybe extend him on a loan, why not? But otherwise, we need a player with these skills that we are missing so much. A player that is able to play vertical. Look at the assist of Andrea. Andy, Joao, Cambiaso. That assist is bijou bijou. That assist is biz biz. Bizou bizou bijou bijou. This is the assist of Cambiaso. After a fantastic recuperation of Locatelli. Don't forget that because he threw his body. He threw his soul. You, if you want the picture of today, it can be, of course, the goal of Chiesa. It can be that badabim badaboom of Vlahovic. Doppio passo before going with a shot on target and scoring. Of course, we can take this picture. We can take the asset of Cambiaso. 
I would love to take as a picture that recuperation of Locatelli that didn't do a beautiful game. It was not a great game of Locatelli, especially not first half, but throwing his body, his soul, everything that he had on the field to recuperate that ball with a tackle, bam, to take it in before that ball went again in the back and then Cambiaso with that vertical pass, bijou, 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 for Chiesa is probably the picture of today. We are simple fans, huh? we are simple Juventini. What we are asking is this, throw your body, throw your soul, throw everything you have there. That's what we are asking, not, not more than that, not more than that. I don't know if you agree or not. By the way, tell me now, what is the picture that you take from this game of today? What is the picture? And don't copy me, eh? I already said uh, about, uh, about Locatelli. So give me the picture, your personal picture. By the way, by the way, it's 50-50. Yeah? The votes, 301 votes, 50-50. The poll, what is the most beautiful goal between Chiesa and Dusan Vlaovic? Never saw a poll that was that tight. Feles, one, 11 months on the channel. What a difference fighting for each ball. Hey, this is the picture, Feles. Thank you for 11 months. You just said what I what I thought. Ax, new member on the channel. Bizu, bizu, like the assist of Cambiado for you. Hozar, ciao. What a difference McKenny makes when fit. McKenny, first half. I don't know where he was. But like Locatelli, like Rabiot, another one that disappeared in the first half, totally disaster. Second half, I said, he has no energy, Weston. Probably sub him. Luckily, I was not the coach because we kept him. And from a certain moment, he unlocked the McKenny of this season. Tenth assist this season. Excusez-moi. Sorry. Eh? Tenth assist of Weston McKenny today. And then not only stopped, but he continued to play with some beautiful performance in that midfield, with some beautiful passes, with some beautiful energy, with contrast, with supporting the team. No, look, McKenny, at a certain moment, boom, he changed. Because I was about to sub him out. Probably he heard me that I said sub him because he's not good today. Or not good. He was not. He was not good. Like Juventus was not good. And then he changed. So fantastic, 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 beautiful performance of a, not fantastic, but beautiful Weston McKenney. Takishi, eight months together with us as a member, finally a win. It's been a long while. Hey, yeah, I hope, but I hope that we can actually carry on on the momentum with, unlike many times where we won and then collapsed. Look, I tell you, <clears throat> I don't know how we will play against Fiorentina. Because today we saw a different Juve in the second half. I don't know which words were used by Max Allegri in uh, um, the second half. Maybe he said we need to fight against referees. Because, you know, it. today we won. So I can speak a bit more about referee. Because if we lost, then people would think we are crying. You are taking the referee as an excuse. But the referee was disgusting again today. Eh? They found me again a new rule that I didn't know. Looks like every game of Juve... They, I, they find a new rule. Today it was an unintentional pass from the defender that kept actually Lazio online and put Cambiaso offside. Strange. The yellow card management. Do we want to speak about the yellow card management? The yellow card management was totally disgusting. With Patrick that deserved not two, but probably three yellow cards. Huh? He received zero. I don't even know how many they received. Lazio, eh, zero yellow cards for Lazio. Zero. Gatti, one foul, one yellow. He will miss the next game, by the way, eh? suspended. Totally disaster. Total disaster. Maybe, the, maybe Max Allegri said in the locker room, guys, win. Win, because here he, it's not okay. Win. 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 I don't know what words he said. But it's true that the Juventus of the last uh, nine games didn't convince me at all for multiple reasons. So I don't want now to go on and serve on that enthusiasm wave of like, okay, we, we turned, we did the U-turn, we are back in, in, in believing. I hope so. I hope this victory can give a bit of self-esteem, self-confidence to say, let's go and continue. I see uh, your comments. Ref was disgusting. I see the Marotta League, <laughs> even if uh, Marotta League in Coppa Italia, they are already eliminated. So I'm not sure if Marotta has something to say in that Coppa Italia game, but it was strange. Corner kicks, two times not given. One time Cambiaso, one time another one. Never given. Rabiot, I believe. Strange decisions. Juve Pills. Thank you. 
thank you for offering a membership and also Mohammed Al Hosani thank you guys you know what I will try to do the same if I can I will try to do the same uh, today stay on the channel because uh, we'll give some uh, memberships uh, wait uh, let me go and try to do it myself and then we continue with your comments because I didn't read yet the um, I didn't read yet all your pictures of today and that's what I want to do of course I want to do it so wait so that I can also offer memberships to the channel if it's possible I would love to do it now can can we can we can we can we at the moment for a strange reason I can't maybe I need to refresh to see the chat are you able to see the chat because I don't see the chat wait wait but I will let it here maybe in a second I will be able to you are able to see the chat I don't see the chat so if I can't see the chat wait uh, one second guys huh Maybe I need to close and start again so that I can. I want to offer a membership in YouTube. Let me do. Let 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 me help YouTube. No, I can't see the chat. But I will try again in a. Give me uh, you know three four minutes and then I check again so that I can offer a uh, a membership. Give me two, three minutes and then we go. Okay, okay. So the pictures of people, what are they? Mad Max coming out of the tutel without kill flings in the shirt. I have absolutely no idea what it means, uh, Branimir. Both goals were beautiful. Uh, the difference comes from the will and performance of the players. Yes, the coach is at fault, but in the end... Um, it is the what the players that really count mm, mm, I think both I would take the Giovanni Mana celebration going around on Twitter it's hilarious I didn't uh, I didn't see it I didn't see it I didn't see the Giovanni Mana celebration I would love to see it wait huh? Giovanni Mana that has been on the of course, the front pages today all over the place. Oh, what a beautiful picture. What a beautiful picture. Guys, this is the Giovanni Manna celebration that you were asking for. Ah, I can I can give the subscription for the people that were there, finally. Finally. Five memberships offered. Ah, ah, I told you I had to wait a bit so that we could offer five memberships on the channel and they are gone. This is the beautiful celebration of uh, Giovanni Manna. <coughs> Giovanni Manna that today finished on all the papers on all the YouTube channels. Wait, he's already a done deal. He will go as a sporting director at Napoli. Could be, could be, I don't know. But uh, Giovanni Manna is a Juventino and uh, after finishing on all the papers, I think it was extremely important for him to celebrate today with a win because uh, it's years and years and years uh, of work for you, of investment, of difficult time for the people that are saying, uh, I think that's an important thing maybe to remember for people that are always saying they don't care about Juventus, what are they doing? Uh, they don't care about the fans. Uh, uh, probably you don't know that the, there are fans as well because whatever team that you support when you work for a club, whatever, player, coach, uh, technical staff, uh, players that are doing the dressing rooms and whatever, you support the team. You support the team. You su just support the team. It's as easy as that. And then if you are a Juventino that are working, that is working for Juve, it's even more stressful. This is what I feel. It's already uh, three years and a half now that I'm working for Juve. I have always felt the same. But since working for Juve, when I see a bad result, I'm caring. I'm really caring for Juventini. It hurts me even more when we are losing because I feel responsible in a way. So a beautiful picture. Thank you for telling me that I needed to check. Um...
Maric, the midfield played well, even Kostic had, Kostic had a good match, I agree. The midfield, second half. Um, huge second goal to go up to zero. Gatti is out due to yellow card. Yeah, yeah, accumulation. We are fortunate to have Rugani with all of his experience as a seasoned backup. But yo, pay attention. It could be Alexander on the left and uh, and Danilo on the right. Huh? Could be, huh? could be, could be. We don't know. We don't know. Um, I almost forgot what it felt to celebrate a win. Indeed, indeed. That's why I didn't know how to start. Weston De Bruyne with all his hazards. Miguel Mercieca, seven months with us. I still think we had worse first halls this season. I don't know, Miguel. According to me, the Lazio, the first, not today, eh? the last time, was the worst first half of the season. It was the worst first half of the season. What I saw against Lazio was unacceptable, was disgusting, was a shame, was a total disaster. We were already a disaster since really long. Huh? It's not that we were not a disaster and just, no, no, we were since really long. But that first half against Lazio probably, according to me, was the worst I saw this season. The worst. Even against Lazio, I saw a bit better. Uh, Sassuolo, uh, when we lost 4-2. I saw a bit better. This one against Lazio, for the moment that we were in, for everything that is surrounding the environment, was totally disgusting. E disgusting. Uh, but that's my opinion. Huh? Kenan, uh, Kenan, uh, I wanted to say Kenan Yildiz, but Kenan Dolovac. Finally, guys, this was a crucial win. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, 21 months, GGTube. Thank you, GGTube, for five memberships. Also, thank you to Elod for one membership. Thank you, Elod. Always there, always present in the comment, watching the videos, both channels. Thank you. Congrats with the 29K. Thank you. Uh, 29,010. Thank you. Thank you. So we can continue with your comments, guys. What do you want? Comments or do we start uh, analyzing the game? Yeah, maybe we can do it. Beppe, did you hear all the whistles from the stadium for Alexander? Yeah, and this was one of the negative things uh, of today. You know it, huh? I don't like Alexandro. Uh, I mean, not as a person, huh, but I mean as a player. Has never been my favorite player. Not even when he was at this peak. This is something I have repeated many, many times. I don't like it. Like I never liked it when we were doing it uh, for the Chile or for whatever player, for uh, Chiesa when he has a difficult moment, for uh, whoever. I don't like these whistles. I don't like this whistle. I don't consider Alexandro a legend, but on the other side, he's a foreign player, like it or not, that played the most games, so he will be in history of Juve. These are the things that I don't like. Do you want to whistle? I always said, said it. This is the right of every supporter to whistle, but do it after the performance. Judge the performance, because here you judge just a player that was not there last game against Lazio that has not played that much this season because of injury, but whatever. You know that he's leaving at the end of the season. He will not be renewed. Uh, Alexandro played. How much Alexandro this season uh, as a starter? Let me tell you. Alexandro played six games in Serie A as a starter. Played uh, zero games as a starter in Coppa Italia. I believe that whatever we like, we don't like, we... Alexandro is probably one of the less or the least responsible for this season. Honestly. Eh? And I tell you, as a non-fan of Alexandro, whistling a player that is about to enter, it's not the moment. After the game, if you want to whistle because he didn't play well, whistle. Eh? That's not beautiful. That's a thing that I would love to uh, to scrap. To scrap. Today's highlight, I must say, the target uh, game of Dusan and gets the team up in a different way. Okay, Dusan Vlaovic. <clears throat> Today I took uh, the frame I have here on the wall next to me. Uh, I have a few, huh? but this is one of the frames that I took at a certain moment when he scored that goal. But I didn't want to take it because he scored the goal. I wanted to take it for something else, for the performance. For me, it's the only player that we can save... Uh, well, yeah, maybe the only player that we can save from that first half. Look, how was the game so that we analyze the game and then we go towards individual and all your question and whatever you want to. According to me, the first half, you see immediately a Juventus that wants to win, that has intentions to do something else. You see it how with the lineup that was aligned. 
because usually in Coppa Italia you do rotations in the first two games and even in the semi-final you do less but still a few rotations today it was the best lineup according to the technical staff that doesn't mean it's the best lineup for all of us because a lot of us want Kenanilis to play with Federico Chiesa with uh, Vlahovic but usually you see a lot of rotations there there was zero rotation except of the goalkeeper Perin in the goal, Bremer, Danilo, Gatti. 3-5-2, which is the formation that gives us the most solidity, the most security. Not the most entertaining one, but Juventus, whatever way we are playing, is not an entertaining Juventus, we know it. And you know that the, inter the intentions are there to win the game already with the lineup. You put the best one that you think that can win that game. One. Two, how Juventus enters the game. Juventus really enters to win that game, to have a behavior that is different as what we saw against Lazio. A Lazio that surprised me in a negative way because I was expecting again a Lazio that would play immediately, even if away from home with the same intention that they started. They didn't. A Juventus that is playing, but a Juventus that is the usual Juventus. A Juventus that is playing for some minutes, trying some things, but not able to go on target. And indeed, we have two shots, huh? the one of Danilo and one of Dusan Vlaovic, both of them not going on target. A Juventus that receive a penalty, but VAR invents a new rule today that the unintentional pass, but clear pass of the defender is uh, not a pass because it's not an intentional one, so they cancel as a penalty. That I didn't celebrate because, according to me, a penalty you celebrate when the ball is in the goal, not when you receive a penalty. A Juventus that still continues to play a bit. I have an image here that I save, you know, that I like to save moments. Uh, and I have a moment that I want to show you. Uh, not this one, even if uh, it's always nice to repeat that we have 29,010. Uh, luckily, we did it. Uh, but this image I wanted to show you, this is after 20 minutes of the game. Uh, 20, 20, let me check what time I took the picture, screenshot taken at 21.25, which means it's uh, 25 minutes into the game. What do we see? Juventus with the black dots, a Juventus with Federico Chiesa, the most forward player, and then you have a Dusan Vlaovic, you have a Cambiaso, uh, you have a, a Rabiot that is on the line with Weston McKenney, with a Kostic that is quite up with Cambiaso, you know, it is always inverting and going centrally when he can. So you see Juventus is still trying, and already at the 25th, that means that since five minutes, Lazio was pressing, okay? Because we were a bit more up in the 20th minute. With Lazio, with only Immobile up. So it was a Juventus that tried something until the 20th minute. Then we started to drop and a Juventus that is starting to be extremely disgusting. A Juventus where, again, they start to fear. And this is, according to me, an, a thing that I can't explain myself. I can't explain myself why Juventus... Why Juventus suddenly is fearing. Fearing what? Fearing what? What is Juventus fearing? What is Juventus fearing? Sometimes you can see the goal and you say, oh, I'm, f I'm scared to concede the second goal. Should not be. Eh? We don't accept. But it's a logical explanation. Human behavior. Okay. Sometimes you receive like two, three shots on target that are putting scare on you, and you say, oh, okay, we need to pay attention, we need to be alert, why not? Here there is no intention to drop, there is no explanation why you drop, but from a Juventus that tries, and it's not wow, eh? let's be honest, that 21st minute were not wow, but at least we try something, we had the intention to play forward, we were dominating in the half of Lazio, we disappear. I can't explain myself why these things are happening. I've written some things. <clears throat> 30th minute, Cambiaso. Because Cambiaso, the first half, was not good. Eh? He was not good. Looks like he never entered really the game. Cambiaso. And I know now today people will be pissed off with me because he did that fantastic assist. Tell me if I'm wrong in the chat. Eh? I'm reading you. Eh? 
like Michael, he says he's scared to fail, scared to make mistakes from Aldo Bonazzo. Let me know if Cam but Cambiazzo was not good in the first half. Looks like he was missing, he was not in the game, he was absent. At the 30th minute, at a certain moment, he tries to cover the ball defensively and he forgets about the ball. Luckily, then it's uh, a goal kick because the, the, the striker or the winger is touching it, but Cambiazzo is strange. Then Danilo, exactly the same. Danilo, exactly the same. Five minutes later, he receives the ball. He's defense on the wing. There is nobody that's pressing. Then there is a player from Lazio that is starting a pressing. Alone, huh? a one-on-one. -on -one. He flips and he put that ball out of the, goal, uh, of the game. He's putting it out in throw-in for Lazio. I don't understand. He's, he's our, I know how much respect I have for the person, Danilo, also for the player, that a lot of things that he showed. But this Danilo, no. Tell me, eh? tell me, eh? Danilo first half, no. If you receive one pressing from a one-on-one, -on -one, you are the captain of the team. No, you don't put it out of the game like that at the 35th minute. Ah, there is also that uh, Bob is saying uh, Cambiazo, but, but in the first half you have that combo. Uh, Chiesa, Cambiazo. Cambiazo, there he needs to shot. Huh? Without, he needs to shot. But Cambiazo is putting it back to Chiesa that tries, then a shot it is deflected in corner kick. Uh, bad solution, but at least there he is. There he's giving that pass to Chiesa that is still a, an okay pass, but he should have shot. But also there, you know, Go, shot, take your chance. So, for, according to me, Cambiazzo was not in his game in the first half. Danilo neither. Then, uh, I already spoke about the yellow cards. Gatti, one foul, yellow card. Uh, Felipe Anderson is doing like, I don't know how many fouls, never. Patrick is doing how many fouls, never. I don't understand. Ciao, Sasha. Um, I probably missed the control. I don't know what happened. Uh, ciao, bye bye. Uh, and then you have the first shot on target from Rabiot at the 45th minute. A beautiful, pure shot. According to me, if he scored that one, it will be cancelled. Because previously there is something with Weston McKenney uh, that I think uh, they would have cancelled it. Because you know it, huh? when it's Juve, they go back even to the birth of Weston McKenney when he was in Texas. If they needed to ask Houston, <laughs> Houston, hello. Where is Houston? Houston is in Texas. <laughs> if they had to call Houston to check if uh, there was a mistake that once Weston McKenney did when he, when he was a young kid, well, uh, probably they would have done it. Huh? Guys, probably they would have done it. Huh? I don't know if you agree or not, but uh, we don't score, they don't check, and it's okay according to them. Then, I'm disgusting there because I'm asking myself, where, how can you flip from one moment to the other? People are saying, scared to do mistake. Probably, yeah. You see, Vlad? You see, Vlad? Um, and then you have that second half that starts. By the way, you know, if I don't repeat, then people are leaving. Why, why? Give me a single reason why one person decided to unsubscribe. Why? Did what person decide to unsubscribe? What did I do? Did I deserve it? We are on the road to 30k and there is one person that decided to unsubscribe. What a disaster. What a disaster. What a disaster. What a disaster. And he doesn't come back. Huh? The person doesn't come back. Oh, pay attention because uh, there is a comment. There is two persons that uh, unsubscribe. Two persons. What a disaster. You are playing with my life. Huh? And then we will close the channel. Apparently Massimiliano Allegri said... The negative moment is my responsibility, it's my fault. This is the comment of uh, uh, Ryan that reported it. I didn't hear it myself, you know it, so it's difficult for me to uh, tell you, yes, he said it or not. Um, if you can tag me 
on Twitter. Uh, I see here a comment that it said, I told the guys, let's run towards the opponent's goal and we will find some solutions. The negative moments is my fault. So all reported by uh, Bianconeri is on here. The negative moment is my fault. And here, I told the guys, let's run towards the opponent goals and we will find solutions. Okay. Um, guys, I don't know uh, what to say. What I can say is what I always stated. Today I was discussing with someone in the Telegram group that had an opinion, of course, opinions are okay, but then there was an opinion like uh, <coughs> he's enjoying the, what was it? He's enjoying the terror ball or he's enjoying the, the mediocrity of play that we are doing. Uh, uh, he's enjoying seeing fans suffering, guys. I heard so many things about Max Allegri, yeah? um, and I always said, you can criticize the way of playing that are correct. You can criticize the, the comeback with uh, bad games, bad performances, not enough points, whatever you want to. But you can't discuss the will of him doing well. Then a lot of people, they want to do well in life and they don't succeed because they miss something, because they are not good in something. But no. And for all the people who are saying he's never taking accountability, he's always playing all the other people. You have it here. Eh? Negative moments is my own responsibility. Here, it's written here in big. So at least we can write it down for people that one day say uh, he never took any responsibility. I believe that that's the big one. There is the press conference of Max Allegri. Do you want to hear it, guys? Do you want to... Ah, no. They... You want to hear the press conference? Should I, should I translate the press conference? Let me do it, huh? Max Allegri, we still need to play the second game. One day we were winning 3-0, we went to Milan and it was 3-2, we went to the penalty kick. So we have to pay attention for the return game. No! They've got the sound. Guys, they have cut the sound. I can't hear it anymore. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the press conference of Max Allegri. Uh, bah. I can't tell you. It's over. I heard all the press conference of Tudor. We go with the press conference of Max Allegri, one sentence, and it was over. Let me read the comment of Mohamed Youssef uh, in the meanwhile. The players fear, thank you for the nation, my friend. The players fear coming from the limited plan, do not cancel a goal and find a counter goal from first minute till the end. Uh, so do, do not concede a goal and then uh, find a goal from a counter uh, attack until the end. Sure, we will be 90 minutes man of the match scared. I don't know, uh, Mohamed Youssef. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure about uh, that. That we have a limited game plan. I agree. I agree. I watch a lot of international football. I watch what we give this season, last season, that we have limited game plan. I agree. I agree. Uh, then that the only plan is don't concede a goal and score one in counter-attack. No. We know uh, that we try to find stability uh, first, uh, and sometimes that can be interpreted as a defensive football. Look, this year, we are bad. We are bad. Um, but that's not the main reason why you collapse mentally. This is, what you're writing is probably even correct, if you want to, huh? uh, trying to score one goal and stop. But that's not the reason why you drop at a certain moment, mentally. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's not the reason, according to me. Because today we didn't score a goal and we dropped. We just dropped like this, mentally. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
I don't know. I sincerely don't know. I would love to know why. I would love to tell you why, but I don't know. Um, I probably I already know what he will say. But I don't know. I saw an Allegri that was a quite serious in, pre in press conference. That is why uh, the two people unsubscribed. They are prof ah, they already knew. They already knew that Max Allegri press conference. Uh, I would have heard only uh, two two things. Okay. Uh, overall, good win, but we need to improve, and hopefully this win. Look, I tell you, huh, probably you will think that I am a, a pessimist or, or, or not, or, or Beppe, what are you saying now? I don't think that this Juventus will improve. Uh, honestly, huh? I don't think that this Juventus will improve. And I will tell you, and it will be unpopular as much as you want to, I'm not even asking Juventus to improve. Uh, I want result until the end of the season. I want to go towards an end of the season where we qualify as soon as possible to Champions League. The, the wins they can come, how how they come, scoring 10-0 or scoring 1-0 or 2-1 or whatever, with only own goals from the opposition teams this season, according to me, they we need to bring it in a qualification of Champions League and bring it to the end. I'm not asking for a better way of playing. We have only nine, sure, possibly 10 games. Nine, sure, possibly 10 games. It makes not even sense to start uh, whatever. Play with a 3-5-2, with the best possible man that you believe that can give in that 3-5-2 and bring it to the end. Bring it to the end. Uh, but show us... A Juventus that can do something like the first 20 minutes of the first half. And then in the will of doing the second half. Because that's what we did in the second half. The second half where Bremer scared me. Eh? Two big miss passes in second half. Ah, because we were about to analyze the second half. Eh? Two big miss two big missed passes in second half. Bremer doesn't start like that. And I say we didn't enter. We didn't enter as we should. I was extremely scared. Because until the goal of Chiesa, let's be honest now, eh, that second half, we don't enter as we should. Eh? It's actually that Locatelli save on the line. The ball is going in a way to Cambiaso with that vertical fantastic pass to Chiesa that gives Juventus probably something that they're unlocking them to say, okay, we can do it. We believe in ourselves. We finally... You know, it's like when you have that bad luck and you do something that is changing that bad luck. That's probably what happened in their hall, in their head. And from that moment on, you have a lot that is trying once and then Juventus goes and they go and they go. And we played much, 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 much better in that second half. So, um, no, no, better. Yield? No. Will we see much more progress? I don't believe so. The season is over. But at least, I wanted one answer from the guys today that they showed me that they wanted. And I hope it's not only we want to do it in uh, in Coppa Italia and we don't care about uh, Serie A because according to me, and maybe that will be the second poll of today. <coughs> By the way, the first poll, Vlahovic won 501 votes. Mamma mia. Vlahovic won with 51%, 49% uh, for Federico Chiesa for the most beautiful goal. I want to go with the uh, second poll, which will be unpopular, eh? but choose one. Out versus Lats in Coppa Italia. Qualify UCL or uh, win Coppa Italia out of UCL. Choose. So you have two cho choices. You have two choices in the poll. First one is you're out versus Lats in Coppa Italia. So that means that we lose... 2-0, they go in penalty, they go to the final, we are out, or they win 3-0, total disaster, but we qualify to Champions League, or, or, 
Uh, we win the Coppa Italia, so it's a silverware. But we are out of Champions League. Look, I see that a lot of people are going towards uh, what I think is the most logical one. I hope it doesn't happen. Huh? I hope we can win the Coppa Italia and qualify for Champions League. But we need Champions League so much. We need Champions League so much. So I hope, and that's my prayer today. Okay, that's my request. No, but, oh, there are people that they are thinking eh, on the Coppa Italia is more important because it's a trophy uh, than a Champions League qualification. No, eh, a nonsense question, but you see that still 6% of the people are voting for it. Eh? Look, I tell you, I hope, I hope that the players are watching now live. Probably there will be some, and eh? they are watching, they are never writing, or maybe they have a nickname. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Kaushik is maybe, I don't know, uh, it's maybe Cambiaso. You never know, huh? you never know. But I hope the players, they don't have something like, okay, we want to fight to lift a trophy. In Serie A, let's hope we qualify but we give everything in Coppa Italia because that would be wrong. Huh? That would be extremely wrong. Extremely, extremely, extremely wrong, according to me. Uh, it's not a foolish poll. It is a consequence of what we saw. Guys, honestly, it is a consequence of what we saw today on the field. I'm asking to you, the supporters of Juve, to tell me, but this is also a consequence of what we saw today. I saw a Juventus with some will today. I'm not saying a fantastic Juve, but with some will. Did you see a, a... Four days ago, did you see a Juve with will? I didn't see it, huh? Did you see... I'm not even saying four days ago. Let's let's go. Did you see a Juventus with some will against uh, um, Genoa? Against Verona? Against Udinese? I didn't see it, huh? I didn't see it. So it is a legit question that I'm asking myself. Hopefully... It is not only a Coppa Italia magic because they want to win a, school, a, a, a trophy. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, it can be the, fool, the uh, foolish question, as you say. Coppa Italia is icing on the cake. Indeed, I agree with Massimo Lesti. Uh, chunky, but don't we make champions if we... No, you go to Europa League. Some people don't understand the financial implication. It is, it is, it is. Arif, thank you for your donation, my friend. Really appreciate it. We need to add some veterans that are winning champions mentality. We are missing those. Anderson is not that. True leaders. Uh, Anderson is an experienced player, but he's not a leader. On that one, I 100% agree. 100% agree. And Anderson we will not increase your leadership. 100% agree. 100% agree. Then can he be? in a 4-3-3 of next season, a rotational player that can bring experience for free, end of contract? Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, guys, uh, leadership, winning mentality, champions. <laughs> These cost a lot, huh? Because on top of that, you didn't write it. But I assume that you are asking also qualitative players, so, so players that can play football. So you're looking for someone that can play football, that has a winner mentality. That has experience, that has that champion mentality. And leadership, where do you find him? Where do you? Abba is saying, I am Landucci. <laughs> Thank you. Grazie, Landucci. Um, Pauli Barra, I am Pinsoglio. Kaushik, yes, I am Cambiaso in the eye. Now I started something. Claudio Rossi is uh, Dybala. Uh, I'm actually Chiellini. Ciao, Defensive Dynamo Podcast. Eh, Defensive Dynamo Podcast. But how can you be uh, Chiellini? Because last time you told me that you are supporting Milan. <clears throat> yeah, of course. The the 7% of people that voted for win in Coppa Italia and out of Champions League are the Atalanta fans. Eh, I, I can agree on that. Uh, Bob Jeruncle is Lautaro spying on Juventini. Ciao, Bob. Uh, only true fans are accounted and lawyers now. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Um, you know what? What did I start? I am Padawan for Mitz that Zep. Uh, I am Allegri. Ciao, Neven. He's Allegri. But it's true uh, what you're saying, Arif. To come back on your comment, I agree hundred percent. Hey. Tell me, okay, 
Maybe we do another game instead of I am uh, Pinsolio, I am... Uh, and nobody's Alexandro. Why? Why is nobody Alexandro? Uh, okay, tell me now. To answer the comment of Arif, he wants... Wait, let me read again. Some experienced player that has winner, champion mentality, uh, leadership, but also qualitative players, of course. Tell me a realistic signing of a player like that. If we qualify to Champions League, that is realistic. Who? Give me names. Nino Sport is Alexandra. Ah, finally. Uh, Sasha is Quadrado. Modric. Tony Cross, he renewed with uh, Real Madrid. Alessandro. Hey, if you don't know, you have to watch my uh, second channel, Football. Hey. hey, guys, what are you, we lost a uh, tree in the meanwhile. Bonaventura. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a real, is Bonaventura a leader? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But it's unfortunately it's a, it's a realistic one. Giorginio. Okay. I don't like Giorginio, but I would put him there in the possible experience players with uh leadership, technical and charisma. Yeah, probably yes. Probably yes. Pro even if I'm not a big fan of him, eh? um, it's a me, Mario. Uh, let me check. Eh? Milinkovic Savic. Bah, I think it's over. Um, Tudor said, "When Juventus play like this, they can play against Real Madrid and Manchester City." Hey guys, you can take the men out of Juve, but you can't take Juve out of the men. Mamma mia, what did I say? What did I just say? Can someone repeat what I just said? Sir Raz, write it, write it in the comment section. You can take Juve. No, no, no. What I, you, can, the, you can take the men out of Juve, but you can't take the Juve out of the men. Mamma mia, what did I say? Mamma mia, that's the quote of the year. Guys, guys. <laughs> Mamma mia. What did I just say? This is uh, like this. Like this. this uh, let me write it. Uh, so Raz, write it down because I forget then. Huh? Mamma mia, what did I just say? I'm proud of Today I say, uh, today I said, Alcaraz, when he was learning to write, he was writing vertical instead of horizontal. That was uh, another pearl of uh, Beppe. Compilation. You can take the men out of Juve, but you can't take the Juve out of the man. Puta, that's a beautiful one. Pah. Pah, 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 pah. What a quote. What a quote. Chapeau, chapeau. But it's a real one. I should make a, I should make a, a, a shirt about that. Uh, Sasha didn't understand the quote. But Tudor was at Juve. Like, like Del Piero. Like Marchisio. You can take them out of you because they are not there anymore. La, uh, Tudor is at Lazio. Del Piero is uh, traveling the world. Marchisio started his agency to scout players. They are not at Juve anymore. But you can't take Juve out of the player because when it's there, guys, you know it. You know it. Uh, of course, today I have long sleeves. I can't show it. When it's there, it's there, huh, guys. You can't take it off. It's forever. Huh? When it's there, it's there forever. Eh, uh, guys. You see, Sasha? And now, and now I'm uh, now I broke myself. Okay, that poll was indeed nonsense, huh? because uh, I'm happy that people, uh, they reacted like that way. Thank you to uh, the comment of Turquoise Key. Beautiful moustache. 
turquoise. What does that mean, turquoise? Turquoise, I know the color, but it's not written like that. It's with a Q-U, turquoise, which is a really beautiful color. I'm always curious to see Turk voice a chi. I can be that it's Turk voice a chi. I don't know. Let me know. I'm curious about that one. Um, thank you for your donation. Really appreciate it. There are talks of Kenan moving to Xavi's Leverkusen site on loan next season to have a greater impact on his develop development. No. Who is talking about that? Take him and put him in jail. Who is talking about that? Uh... Put him in, a, put him in jail. It should not even be there. If there is one guy that can't move from Juve, it is uh, Kenan Yildiz. Basta. Stop. Stop. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. It can't be. It can't be. It will not happen. No. Then, uh, of course, guys, uh, that's another topic that we have to open. The the case of this eve of today, especially the case of the second half, is the player that you don't want to to, to let go. It's a player that you want in your team. It's a player that you, you want to continue with. But also you have, did you see how Cannon entered? Did you see how Cannon Yildiz entered today? He has it. He needs a bit of time. He needs a bit of opportunities. And that will be one of the big challenges for next season, whoever the coach is, to let coexist Cannon and Chiesa on top with another striker, Vlaovic or whatever, but coexisting will be extremely important. Chiesa on the right side maybe, Kenan on the left side, Vlaovic on top, it will be a tough one, will be a, a big task, huh? because you can't continue with a two men up front if you have Chiesa and Yildiz, because Yildiz needs his time to play with continuity, to make some mistakes. He will do some mistakes like he did already this season a few times, like the last game where he was dribbling in our box and then he was about to miss it, or he missed it actually. Uh, so these are really extremely important things to understand because how he entered, he entered again fantastically well with some beautiful runs, with some beautiful dribbles, with that tic-tac. He has a tic-tac, mon ami. He has a tic-tac, my friend, with that ball. He takes the ball. Tac, tac, and he goes, huh? Tac, tac, and he goes, huh? And nobody can stop him. It's not the first time, but he's able to do the tac, tac. Left, right, boom, he goes. Left, back, 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 boom. Hey, guys. Let him play. Let him play. Then, Chiesa, what I'm asking, and by the way, thank you uh, to uh, three that came back, or new that came, thank you, thank you, really appreciate it, because it's up. We need to go, not down. So 29,010, and then we go towards 30,000. We need to do it. We need to do it. We need to do it. <laughs> then the Chiesa that I'm at, I want continuity of Chiesa. It can't be that the first half, mm -hmm, and then second half, we see finally the Chiesa. No, it can't be that three games you don't see Chiesa and then you see a Chiesa. Look at today, that's the Chiesa that I want. I want the Chiesa that I want to stand up and I want to upload like the entire stadium did. Continuity. Vlaovic was fantastic today. Eh? Vlaovic was fantastic today. From the first minute, eh? fighting on the balls, cry, trying to create spaces, opening the game. I believe now you will, uh, you will get crazy. But McKenny is doing a fantastic season, one of the most improved players. Uh, can we speak about a huge improvement of Dusan Vlaovic? The Dusan Vlaovic that I'm seeing since 2024. Maybe he flopped one game, maybe, maybe. But the Dusan Vlaovic that I'm seeing since 2024 is a much better player than Dusan Vlaovic 2023. It's even a more complete player than Dusan Vlaovic at Fiorentina. Boom, I said it. But I said it. Thank you, uh, Turquoise. I said it. Tell me, yes or no. According to me, 
Dusan Vlaovic is a more complete player than Dusan Vlaovic Fiorentina. There was one game where Dusan Vlaovic didn't play well in 2024. Which game? Which game? Which game Dusan Vlaovic didn't play well? Like the, the, all the team, eh? In 2024. Grande, Suraz, Genoa. Why? Can you tell me why? Yeah, Napoli as well. Uh, but Napoli, at least he was there. At Genoa, he, he was invisible. Why? No, at Napoli, he didn't play well because he missed a lot, but at least he was there. At Genoa, he was invisible. Why Genoa? Who can tell me the reason why he was bad at Genoa? I will tell you. I have the answer. No, the red card is a consequence of the nerves and so on, but that it's not because of the red card that he played bad, because that red card he received, I believe, at the 87th minute or something like that. No, the red card is a con it's it's accumulation. The mentality, yeah, but why? The the real reason, not the mentality or the attitude. The reason why? The origin of it. Give me the real origin, not the attitude or or he missed it. the why. Where is it coming? You want me to tell you, huh? Because you can't find it, huh? It's easy, huh? But you don't think about these kind of things. Because to Shamlaovic. What happened? Okay, I will. I, I don't want to say. I don't want to spoil it. Let's see who will uh, find it. What happened before the Genoa game with the entire team of Juve? Where did they go? The entire team of Juve. Who remembers? Hey, voila! It was hey, hey, bravo, Cantinasso. It was the retiro. So Dusan Vlaovic was not with Vanya, and then he performed bad. <laughs> it's easy, yeah. Huh? It's easy. That's why. That's why. That's why. When we do again a retiro, I hope they will understand it, and they will say retiro for everyone, but not for Dusan. Dusan, you stay or. You take your girlfriend uh, together with you in Ritiro, I don't know, but not for Dushan. You know, it's like uh, <coughs> everyone need, is obliged to go to swim, except the teacher is giving a word like, okay, you, you, are, you don't have to go and swim with her. That's the reality, guys. No Vanya, no party. That's the reality. Ritiro, one game. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. One bad game of Dushan in the entire 2024. When? When there was the Continasa. When there was the Continasa. When there was the Ritiro. Yeah. We said it, huh? There is no coincidence in the world. It's, it, it's, football is simple. It's more simple than you think. It's a pity that they didn't think about it. They should have thought about it, huh? Okay, now that I revealed you the secret, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we can move on. We can move on to the rest. Uh, we can move on to the rest. Uh, Jesus Juve, Palacios from Leverkusen would be the player I would think of buying. Mentally, he's very strong and he has already improved so much under Xavi. In some ways, reminds me of Vidal before coming. Uh, you know, I, I'm loving uh, Leverkusen, how they are playing. Uh, of course, they are doing a fantastic season. They have the coach that is staying one more year. They will play... Uh, not an extra competition because they are already playing a European competition this season, but they will play Champions League. There will be some extra game. I don't know how many players will leave. And I'm not sure if it's the right moment to go immediately Borna to Leverkusen knocking on the door now with the, all the players where their value... They increased a lot. Huh? They increased a lot. Um, so, I don't know. Um, yeah. But... Uh, and then, Palacios, look, look, 
there was Cambiasso of Inter and then we went with a Cambiasso with one S. So we took away one S and I'm happy. Uh, there was Palacio at uh, Inter. Now you're speaking about Palacios. So we added an S. As long as he doesn't have that small hair here, I would say yes. No, but it's a good player. Palacio is a good player. Uh, eh, but guys, you're telling me players, Xabi Simons, you need, eh, you need, you need, you uh, need. Paris Saint Germain also wants him. Uh, and a lot of clubs want want him. He's a good player, eh, Xabi Simons. We need, we need, uh, we need a lot. But uh, I don't believe, uh, I don't believe. Name three players who you would like to remove from you. In my opinion is Miretti, Kin and Sandro. Uh, Alexandro will stop. Um, but it depends who you sign. Huh? It depends who you sign. Look, um, I believe that it's time for Kostic to, uh, to check for... I didn't like the season of Kostic. Um, even if I believe he, he, he received too much hate in the beginning but um, but Kostic Alexandro and I would go for uh, probably De Chilio. Ah, I told you three players uh, because I, I always told you if we want to go to our four-man defense we need uh, fullbacks I saw here a comment of Kovacic look Kovacic is a player oh Played in a winning Inter, played at Real Madrid, plays at Manchester City, uh, speaks the language, has now a lot of experience. Uh, look, Kovacic is a player that uh, I would not say no to. Oh! Can we sign him? Eh, I know, Italian and Austrian fan, uh, I know that you want Pafundi. We're repeating it every single day. It's a good player. Pafundi is an exceptional, beautiful uh, young player. Kovacic. Oh, we are we are laughing, but Matteo Kovacic. A great, a great player. He's not even a, a starter, an undobious starter at um, at City. Um, contract until eh, contract until twenty twenty seven. Ah, but oh, Juve Pils, Florian Wirtz, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, that you know when uh, Xabi Alonso renewed or renewed? No, it's not true. He said that he will continue with uh, Leverkusen. The first player he said you don't touch is Florian Wirtz. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the problem. Huh? That's the problem. Huh? Contract until twenty twenty seven. Uh, important player for uh, for Pep Guardiola even if they are looking for the, the Portuguese guy of Newcastle they are looking for the Portuguese uh, what's the name uh, Guimaraes they are looking for him uh, you can't just add 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 but I also believe uh, how much did they sign him bah it was not even that much huh? it's a player strangely huh? look 29,000 million uh, you know that Kovacic is a player. I, I never thought about it. Chelsea, Real Madrid, Inter, Manchester City. Paul, not Rodrigo de Paul, eh? but Paul. But between de Paul and Kovacic, I go for uh, Kovacic, personally. Eh? Personally, de Paul. They are the same age. They are the same age. Twenty nine, both. Uh, 40 is too much yeah but that yeah but 
40 is probably what we want to put on the table for a, a player with experience that uh, at 29. Uh, how much? I see a lot, not, not 40. Casemiro is finished. Lost half of the art of eh, but I agree. Casemiro, uh, Real Madrid, and he went to. No, I think it's also over. Yeah, you're, you're right. I agree with Andy. It's over. Yeah, um, Andy. Magic you vale para para para. Twenty months. Thank you, my friend. Grazie, Andy. I love that song. A lot of people love that song. That song is just fantastic. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> ah, 35 Martin is saying 35 max 30 million 25 oh, oh, oh 25 25 Kovacic now and let's go but then 25 I would love to you know what 25 with a bonus with 10 million bonus if Juventus goes to the next uh, stage of Champions League that would be a beautiful deal eh? Eh, because you win a lot of money Franck Kessier, no, no, basta. Even if it's a good player, but... Francesco Camar, yeah, but you're telling me a striker of 16. that uh, He's still not done, eh? Don't deal with the contract, uh, first professional contract with Milan. I don't know what he's waiting for. It's the team of his heart. If he leaves Milan, <sighs> oh, that would be a, a big one, eh? Oh, that would be a big one. If he leaves Milan... Mamma mia! Ma no, Verati, basta, guy. Verati is, uh, is smoking cigarettes, uh, enjoying life. Uh, uh, leave him alone. Leave him alone. And uh, Copemaners, uh, it's not. Problem with Copemaners, it's not 40, eh? it's 60. Eh? And you know, the, the players of Gasperini, I'm always scared. You don't believe me, eh? but how many. Who can tell me? How many Gasperini players from Atalanta, after leaving Gasperini, they had a, a top, fantastic career? Tell me. Who, after uh, who, after Gasperini, they had a fantastic boom career without Gasperini of course huh? so I'm trying to check Papu failed for yeah but he succeeded in the um, in the doping test he, he failed uh, in the career that's I agree uh, Romero. At Tottenham. Probably. Bastoni. At Inter is fantastic. But let me check how much he played at Atalanta. Because I need to understand this. Oh. Because... Uh, I need to understand first. Wait. Bastoni. Because that's a good that's a good one, eh? All seasons. I need to understand at Atalanta. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, but this is not the Gasperini player, eh, guys. He played uh, in total nine games. That's not the Gasperini, but that's why I didn't remember uh, Bastoni. It's a good shout, huh? but unfortunately, it's not a Gasperini player. He never really worked with Gasperini. I remember when uh, he was signed uh, uh, at Inter, I remember that uh, Conte spoke extremely well about him, uh, and people were like, uh, what is he talking about? Uh, I'm waiting, huh? 
there are no players. There are no players from Gasparini that became good. I think it's really uh, no like uh, they are good because uh, they are with uh, Gasparini because they are in a system that is there since ten years, and uh, but after that I, I don't know. So it's a big it's a big uh, risk. Yeah, sixty million for a player that according to me it's not worth sixty million, but sixty million for a player that you know already <laughs> there are chances that he's failing. Uh, grazie Riccardo, smile Beppe, we won, but still mamma mia, no, always mamma mia, especially in the moments that we are in, but uh, thank you for your donation, that brings me even a more extra smile on my face, um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, no, ragazzi, today, what a beautiful boost, huh? 29,012, record of the channel, pa, 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 pa. thank you Riccardo, um, oh, isco basta, Ciao, buonasera, Bob. Uh, forza Juve. Uh, do a poll, Beppe. Who do you prefer? Coppa Italia, Fire Fiorentina? Or... But no, no, no. I don't want to do it, Mark, because we didn't qualify yet. Let's first qualify to the final and then we do that poll. Ah, because I'm a superstitious. I don't want to go too fast. The striker of Manchester United, Hoylund. Uh, Hoylund is not yet, even if you see the potential, and he's a great player. Uh, Manchester United, fine. By the, by the way, um, he will have a great career. Sure about that. But he also did play, I believe, only one season with Gasparini. Um, it's not really... Hoylund is not a Gasparini player. But it... If we want to... Buonanotte James Ciao James Ciao Ciao R Greenwood But Greenwood never Ah If you want The player Greenwood uh, I go Joshua Kimmich Look Kimmich 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 is a player That can bring you Leadership Can bring you experience Can bring you winning Mentality Because he knows What to win uh, I never believed that Kimmich was the most important player at Bayern Munich, but he, he ticks the boxes, and I believe he also could potentially leave this uh, this summer. Yeah, Kovacic, Kimmich, Kimmich. How old is Kimmich? Is he already over thirty? I think so. Huh? It's like a player that I know since like hundred years. Ah, also twenty nine. Okay. Uh, okay, let, let's go with the poll and then I will uh, just come back in three minutes. Wait, huh? poll. Choose one. <laughs> let's say all of them are 35 million plus. Bonus. I'm just guessing. Huh? Uh, Kovacic. The poll, Kimmich, uh, let me check, value of 60 million euro as a contract until 2025, uh, okay, let's pretend, okay, it's not for, uh, anyway, it's not even our, our, our money. Um, here we go. Vote. Uh, and I, I don't know, uh, Lil G, because it's the last year of contract. Last year of contract means a lot. Fabian Ruiz, it's not... It, it's, oh, guys, I'm already falling asleep when I'm watching Juve. Uh, if you buy Fabian Ruiz, I will... Uh, no, no, I want a player that is a bit uh, faster. I, yeah, I forgot... Goretzka, that is also reality. Eh? I'm not a big fan of Goretzka. Um, yeah, of course. Then people are going for Kimmich. Okay, while you are voting, give me a second or, or maybe two minutes. I need to take something to eat. I'm really uh, angry. Give me one minute.
Guys, I don't know how you do, but uh, I would have been gone uh, since already a super long time. Huh? I don't know. You're still here waiting for me. Thank you, guys. No, I went to eat a panacook. You know, I don't know how you say uh, in uh, English. A panacook is uh, in crepe. Uh, uh, how do you say? A pancake? Pancake? No, I just took one. Uh, one. Hey, give me a bit of time. Mamma mia. I need I needed uh, something because I was falling on the ground. I didn't feel I didn't feel well. There was still some pancakes, so I took one, one, just one. I, I at the half past midnight, mamma mia. It was good. It was good. Cold. I like when the pancakes are hot. So you have voted for Kimmich. I had no doubt that you would vote for Kimmich. Uh, so what do we speak about? We spoke about the game, we spoke about the importers, we spoke about the win, we speak about Juventus that needs to show now in uh, in Coppa Italia. Uh, what do we speak about? Let's make a future realistic cube. I already made a video about that. I know if I spoil everything, then you don't watch my videos anymore. The stats. Yeah, we can. We can. The stats. Let me refresh. The stats of Juventus. Average position, the entire game, Juventus with black dots. Uh, only Keza. Keza was the most forward player. Look at uh, Vlahovic, where he touched the ball, where he worked a lot. Huh? Uh, Dusan Vlahovic. Why are people saying that I smoke? Every time that I go away, people are saying, hey, you go for smoke, you go, you smoke, you smoke. Guys, where 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 is that idea from? Uh, you never see me smoking on pictures, on video. You guys are crazy. Huh? Uh, player distributions. Look, I was not happy with Locatelli in first half because he touched how much? He touched in first half how much? 35 times the ball. And here, 58. Uh, that's even less. Uh, probably that's why we played better because he touched uh, less, less the ball. Could be, yeah. Thirty-five. It's three twenty-three times only in second half. We played that second half with our regista that touched twenty-three times the ball. It's not good. Huh? It's not good. I will refresh to be sure. Because that's really uh not good. Guys, uh, guys, Lazio, mid, Philip Anderson, 85, Vecino, 84 times he touched the ball, eh? Guendouzi, 63, that is still not enough eh? for a midfielder, but 84 Vecino, 58 Locatelli, it's not good, eh? it's not good. Um... Um, by the way, it's uh, the birthday of Adrien Rabiot. By the way, it's the birthday of uh, Adrien Rabiot. It's my buddy. Yeah. I, I sent. By the way, why I was eating my pancake? I sent a message to uh, Rabiot. You will probably not see it because he's in silent mode, uh, which makes totally sense. Tomorrow morning, he will watch it. He will. Uh, he will uh, tell me thank you. Um, Cambiaso 46, pass accuracy of the players. Rabiot was accurate with 95%. Cambiaso 93%. Danilo 90.1%. Danilo was the one that touched most time the ball with 83. Uh, let's check something that was in super interesting um, here. The shots. Lazio, a lot of shots in the first half out of the box. Then they entered a bit more in second half. Huh? In our box, look. 61st minute in the box, uh, 92nd minute with Kamada, that was in the first half, I remember with Isaacsen, the only shot on target, uh, no, the only shot, and then Luis Alberto as well, the header on the post, on the bar, all the other ones were uh, out. For Juve, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times we were able to shot from inside the box, 2 times we were able to score, and 3 times we took our chances with Danilo, bad, bad shot. Uh, Rabiot, the only 
shot on target from first half and then that shot from Gatti. I don't remember the shot from Gatti. Um, then, um, if you're looking at the attacking ones, shots, I told you Dusan Vlaovic with three, one on target, it was a goal. Uh, but also here, a small expected uh, goals, 0 0.73, 0 0.49 for Lazio. It's really, it's really low. Juventus is able to uh, overperform with their expected goals because we it's not enough. Eh? Ciao, buonanotte, Mark. Um, buonanotte, Mark. It's not enough. Eh? <coughs> um... Player distribution, we checked. Player in general, successful dribbles. Who attempted the most? McKenney, three, and he succeeded twice. Yildiz, you see that the magic of Yildiz, two, in the in the small minute that he had at disposal. Two dribbles, two succeeded dribbles. Three duels, two duels won. Uh, aerial duels won. Yeah, he lost that aerial duel. Possession won. No. Yeah, he did. He won one possession. It, eh, he was able to lose it three times. Eh? The one that lost most time the possession is Filip Kostic uh, with 19 time. Kesa 16. Vlahovic 14, which makes sense. Eh? Um, defenders, interceptions, Danilo with four. Um, I'm trying to check. Eh, oh, did you see the defensive work of, uh, of Dusan? I don't think that Dusan will leave this summer. I don't think so. You want to see the heat map of Loka and West? You can. Heat map. Western. Right side. Ah, a bit more central today than usually. Because usually he's also going super a lot of time wide. He did that. Huh? But less. Look, in the first half, he nearly never did. And then in second half, a bit more, where it was working a bit better. That was for uh, Weston McKinney. And then for Locatelli. But Locatelli is, look. In the first half, you see uh, Locatelli. <sighs> that is not going up. Except of that shot. What a missile. What a shot. What a rocket from uh, Locatelli at a certain moment. This is starting to annoy me. Wait. At least I'm a bit more central. And then in second half, you see that here, second half of Locatelli, he, he, he left a bit that position centrally. Eh? Locatelli he didn't touch a lot of time the ball. No, I, I didn't like the performance of Locatelli another, uh, another time. Passes of Juve, passes of uh, uh, Lazio. What else can we check? Um, passing matrix. Yeah, Costage Danilo is uh, most passes, but I, I knew already. They played a lot there. Uh, maybe this one we didn't check. The attacking thirds. Juventus playing a lot on the left. We knew it. Lazio. Yeah, Lazio tried uh, centrally on the left, on the right. While Juventus, you see a predominance of uh, the left side where we attacked. Stavros, thanks, Beppe. No, thank you. If you tell me, then we do. Huh? Barna. Second half, it seems like Loka was playing more destroyer and Rabiot and McKinney as tradition. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But, you know, <coughs> Loka should, uh, should not only do the destroyer. That's what I am blaming Loka for. The role is asking for it. The coach is asking for it. Um, but I would love to see the qualities of a, of a Locatelli more than only a destroyer. Christian, Loca has to move away from being the register role. People are expecting to him to be the Pirlo. No, he's not, he's not. Of course he's not. I agree with that one, eh, Christian. You can't, you can't, you can't judge Locatelli to be Pirlo. Otherwise, he will never play well. You need to judge him for what he's uh, able to, to give. And he's giving defensively. And that's why I will never give more. A lot of time I will not give him um, 
a really bad rating, except when he's really not good. But usually I don't give him a lot of bad rating because he's doing what he's asked for. But I think that he has more and he can even give more in that Juve of Allegri, in that way of playing. Yeah, too much, too much, too much. And, and slow, huh? and slow. And you see, when he's giving like these one touches passes, and when he, when he accelerates, then you see a total different Locatelli. Okay, now we saw the stats. Top combination, Danilo Kostic, 22. Kostic, Danilo, 16. Locatelli, Danilo. You, you see? You see? This is what I wanted to show you. Top combination of passes from uh, Juve, top five, is Danilo to Kostic. And from Lazio, it is Mario Gila to Felipe Anderson. Yeah, it's a bit the same. Uh, Romagnoli to Mario Gila while we have Kostic to Danilo. So you see, it's Danilo, Kostic, Kostic, Danilo. Then you have Locatelli, Lo Locatelli to Danilo, you see? Rabiot to Kostic, Cambiaso to Chiesa. What do we see? It's always the left side. The top combination of passes. And a lot of time we go back. A lot of time we go back. Cambiaso tried to move a bit the game with Chiesa while uh, look Locatelli to uh, these are the top combo of Locatelli that's what Locatelli did Buonanotte Bogdan yeah I will also close in a in a second Beppe do you agree you even need 5-6 player uh, yeah I believe I, I made a video about it I believe that we need a lot of changes yeah yeah I agree Yeah. What was the team that I made? You want to see uh, the team that I made a few days ago? Realistic Juve, of course. I know the, with a low budget. Huh? I need to check. Wait. Let me try to open it. That was a realistic Juve I made uh, on a video. With Chesney to the goal. Um, Cambiaso as a left back, even if I believe that Cambiaso can play more up. But you see clearly eh, that 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one, that becomes a 4-3-3. Three, three. As, as simple as that. Eh? Do you see? Cambiato with Calafiori, Giallo. Even if there are voices about Giallo going on loan, which would be strange, which means he's not yet at the level. Huh? If you're already speaking about the Giallo going on loan, it's not at the level. Um, with uh, Locatelli, Turam, Ferguson. But Locatelli, not as the regista. Why? You see, if you play that 4 1 4 1, I tell you, huh? you have a Calafiori that can play with the ball. Giallo can also play with the ball. Uh, Cambiato can go up. Danilo is more one that is containing here. Uh, and you have diverse solutions. You have a physicality of Turam, that power. Uh, you have a Ferguson that can easily, in that 4-1-4-1, also go up a bit. With Locatelli staying, eh? um, you see? You have these big runs. You have also that cover. Huh? Because that's also an important thing that you have to pay attention. If yield is go centrally, okay? You have a cambiazo that goes up. Then you need someone that pays attention here because you go towards the three men defense immediately. You need a, a, a Turam to cover Cambiazo here. A yield is that enters, and you have a Vlaovic. 
uh, and exactly the same with the other side huh? where Danilo and that's why you protect with Danilo here because Ferguson is less a Turam. Ferguson is less a Turam. but if you have a Sule that enters here more centrally uh, Ferguson can't do the job of Turam because it's not the same player but that's why you have a Danilo with more experience that stay in the back and Locatelli can even support you see while Turam is taking here and there you close and there you close that's a realistic low cost event of course low cost when I'm saying low cost Turam cost a lot of money but you need to finance it also with the pot here we were speaking about um, the the Bremer situation and also I made a, a Juve B a Juve B with other signings as well but yeah I made a, a, a Chiesa out I made a Bremer out I made a Huysen out um, what was the team that I made 4-1-4-1 you know why I made a 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one. but not a Borna I like Samarsic as well huh? yeah yeah if uh, it's a good player I think Ferguson showed a bit more consistency but he's playing in a, in a dream Bologna while the other one is playing with a disaster Udinese which changed a lot as well huh? um where did I put care? Well, I put him on the market there because we are speaking about when I made it was uh, the time where we were speaking about uh, about Gleison Bremer uh, on the market. Also, Chiesa was on the market. It's, it's still eh, because he didn't renew. If he doesn't renew, guys, uh, you can do whatever you want to. Today he played fantastically well, but let's not forget uh, that we were with a Chiesa that was uh, in doubt eh, of continuing. Let me check the other players that I signed. Wait, huh? because I signed more players. Huh? Uh, who else did I sign? Ah, <laughs> I had Felipe Anderson for free. Mitai, I had a promotion of uh, Haza from the next gen. I bought, uh, no, I promoted as well Comenencia. I don't remember how... Uh, wait, let me check. Let me check how that second team was looking like. When did I do that video? It was in the month of March. And I believe it was... Uh, let me check. Uh, I believe the 29th. I think I or is it the 28 that I made it yeah ah here I have it I made the 28 here okay this one the this was from the B team so you have A team and then you have B team with uh, Perin in the goal Mitai Rugani, Gatti, Comenencia. Then I had Fagioli, Miretti, Haza, Iling Junior, Milik, and Felipe Anderson. Is it ideal? No, but it's a team. And that was that was uh, what I was trying to uh, to make with that. That if you change, you at least can still play with the same system without uh, thinking too much. Uh, Co-banners is easier. Or more realistic than Turam, I think that Turam um, will be difficult also because it's uh, in a way Nice. The owners are Manchester United, but I'm not sure if um, Cole Manners is more realistic. They are asking for 55 million euro, 60 million euro, which is uh, crazy for uh, Cole Manners. I don't think uh, I don't think that Turam has that price. Huh? I don't think that Turam has that price. Doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Now the problem is actually you get Turam. Eh. Eh. 
Well, to that, but it can be another one. Do you remember uh, Seraz? I don't know if Seraz is still here, but I had always one name on my book that was not Turam, that was not Cope Manners. It was another player in the midfield that I had. Yeah. If Seraz is there, he will tell me, and it will be cheaper, and not a lot of people are talking about him. Yeah. Bravo. It's Kone from Mönchengladbach. Gladbach. What is he doing actually? Because th this year I, I didn't follow him a lot. Hey, he's not playing a lot, huh? With uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Only eight apps. Is he injured? Yeah, because if he's injured uh, at a certain moment, basta. But Kone is a player that I believe can. Uh, look. Injury history. Well, not even that much. Now he's injured. Now he's injured for turn muscle fiber. Um, but Kone is good, huh? Kone is really good. That's a player that I really like. I don't know why he's not playing that. Maybe because he wanted to leave and uh, he's not happy. But that's a really great player. Look, he's uh, young. He's 22. French midfielder, 185. You want a player that is cheap? Take him. He has a contract until when? Let me check. And then we don't speak about uh, Turam. That is expensive. We don't speak about Cope Manners. Has a contract until 2026. So he still has uh, two more years. So it's not. In, but he made it clear that he wanted to leave. Eh? The only player that we liked and performed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Grimaldo, we spoke a lot about him eh, last season, but uh, made a choice that is understandable. Ah, Rovella. Guys, in Rovella, I received so much criticism about Rovella because I never... And people, mamma mia, mamma mia. Disaster, he's not even play. I don't know where, where is he, Rovella? It's a long time that I didn't see him. Ravella. People were crying, mamma mia, like he was the... How much did he play this year? 18 games in Serie A. I don't know where he is. I, honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I know he's at Lazio, of course. I know he's at Lazio. I don't know where he's, uh, I mean, uh, physically uh, playing, you know, or not. No, of course, I know he's at Lazio. But what is he doing? Let me check. Ah, he's uh, injured. Inflammation of the pubic bone. What is a pubic bone? Is he the, the thing there in the middle of the legs? Inflammation to the... Inflammation to the pubic bone. What is the pubic bone? I think it's... Uh, I think he's injured. It's not. It's not something new. Huh? We knew. We knew that he was an injury-prone player. Did he score? He didn't score. Ma. Ma I told you. I told you. The balls. Hey. <laughs> Beppe, you sell this. No, no, I... No. No, I keep Dushan. Dushan, but he can't go in a retiro, because you know it, huh? Dushan can't go in a retiro. It's avoided. Uh, we don't allow him to go in a retiro. I need to check where is the public zone. Inflammation to the pubic bone. Show me. Image. That's for the girls. It's Pubic bone is for the girls. It's for the boys. He has pain here.
needs to pay attention. Huh? Oh, I know about growing pain, but pubic bone, I don't know. What is happening? Uh, people, look, Alessio Puccia. Just subscribe because he saw that we were speaking about the pubic bone. Alessio, Alessio. Alessio, Alessio. Uh, you see, Alessio is thinking here that we are doctors. Look at that. Record after record after record. We are reaching peaks. 30k really soon. Oh, guys, one how two mom. I mean, it's already two hours of life. You want to do a game? You want to do a game? Let's do a game. Let's try to do a game. Okay, we do a game. We do a game. We do a game. Okay, let's do a game and then we close. Uh, I want to do tic tac toe. Can we do that? Of Seria. Okay, we try this. <coughs> you play all together with me, eh, guys. We we try this. So we try. We need to find maximum of Serie A players for the tic tac toe. We do. Ready? And then we close. Let's let's finish with a game. I like. I like. Wait. Are you ready to play a game? Tell me yes or no. But Zazzaroni, guys, if I, the day I start listening to uh, Zazzaroni. Uh, yes, okay, people want to play. Okay, we go. Okay. Juventus Sassuolo, Berardi. No, I'm joking. Berardi never played there. But Locatelli. Locatelli. Manuel Locatelli. Okay. Oh, grande. Uh, Udinese Juve Udinese Juve Udinese Juve uh, Samarsic no uh, Udinese Juve we have a lot eh? Quagliarella Quagliarella Fabio Quagliarella uh, Inter Juve Vidal I will need your help eh? uh, if you see guys Inter Euro Barella uh, that will be a, this one we can have a lot eh? Barella uh, Udinese that won the Euro who won the Euro from Udinese uh, Di Natale was not there in the last... Uh, who was the player that won Euro from Udinese? Uh, Udoji was not there yet. Benatia. Benatia is a player that played at Udinese. Bravo. Benatia. 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 Medi Benatia. Grande. Uh, Pereira. Samoa. Pua, we have a lot, huh, indeed. Uh, Samoa. Pereira. Eh, but Pereira is not like that. Perre. Pereira, 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 Pereira. We need to check the right uh, Pereira. The right writing from Pereira. I don't remember how you write it. Uh, may, probably you wrote it right. Pereira. Yeah, Roberto Pereira. Grande. Um, Birov. Ah. Did he win? Yeah, I think. Oliver Birov. Grande, that was a really good call. Who said that? Lil G, grande. Grande. Uh, Benatia Pereira, Tucumano. Yeah, el Tucumano Pereira. Yeah, if I start writing Tucumano, guys. Um, Matri played at Juve and Sassuolo. It's true. And also won. Bravo. Bravo. Won the Italian top division. It's true. Uh, Sassuolo player that won the Scudetto Sassuolo player that won the Scudetto uh, Quadrado play bravo Quadrado played at Udinese it's true played at Inter played at Juve it's true um, the Bastoni he won no the Euro Alessandro yeah, he won the Euro Bastoni um, David, where David? David played at Juve. Basta. And Inter, it's true. Mamma mia, I forgot. It's true. Edgar David, it's true. It's true. Demiral, oh, to the, oh, we are beasts. Uh, it's true. Peluso, Peluso, Peluso. Guys, even the game he doesn't know uh, about uh, Isla. 
Oh, e don, don cheetah, don cheetah. Quadrado we already said. Pirlo, 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 pirlo. It's true. Pirlo. Um, pirlo. Morgan de Sanctis, it's true. He played at Juve. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Udinese. Ibra... Oh. Ibrahimovic, indeed. Uh, Roberto Baggio. Uh, I don't know. Who else? Um, there are more, huh? I don't think only Inter, Juve, but... Uh, uh, Sassuolo that won the cup, Udinese, here, Sassuolo players that won the Euro, only, only Locatelli, nobody else, Vieri, mamma mia, Vieri, Christian Vieri, indeed, um, Candreva, Candreva, no, Berardi, he, no, Berardi, no. He never played physically at Juve. Gianni Keda, what a name. That's correct. Uh, Vieira. Patrick Vieira. Indeed. I won the Euro as well. Zidane won the Euro. Yes, but not with Sassuolo, not with Udinese, not with Inter. Lucio. Oh, what a name. Ah, the other guy, the bad guy there, uh, Melo, Felipe Melo. Felipe Melo. Bonu. Oh. I'm trying to... Simone Pepe. That's a good name. Iaquinta. Iaquinta. Iaquinta played for Juve only Dinese. Lirola. Grande uh, Cance Pff, Cancelo Joao Cancelo Look at that 14 players Here uh, Zlatan we said Cancelo we written Ber No Ah Berardi Indeed Berardi won the Euro Indeed Bravo bravo I, I was focusing on uh, Juve Sassuolo But it's true Berardi Euro It's true Simone Pepe Turam Turam, 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 Parma. He didn't play at Inter, Turam, the Sun, but it's not the same. Eh? Um, Azamoa, we... Did we write Azamoa? Has already been added. We already knew that. Stefan Appia. He played, indeed. Indeed. Hakimi. Akimi, 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 played at Inter. And that's it. He played with Morocco, so he can't win the Euro. He, he won, he won the, the Scudetto with Inter, Hakimi. Yeah, he did, he did, indeed, he did. What Chiellini? What Chiellini? Chiellini never played at Inter, never played at Udinese, never played at Sassuolo. Chiellini... Matri, where Matri? Matri played at Juve and at Sassuolo, it's true. Good one. Or, ah, we already wrote it. Serena, but I'm not sure if he goes that... Oh, oh, oh yeah, he goes that far, I didn't know. Cannavaro. Navarro, Scamacca Euro was he no he was not this was not no 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 eh, we didn't do any mistake Peruzzi played indeed for both teams it's true Altobelli it's true eh, if we go like that we can go really far eh? We have only 16% of the thing filled in. Baggio, we already wrote. Zaza. 
Zaza. Indeed, uh, Causio. Franco Causio, Bing, that's a good one. Bergomi, what? He won the Italian title. Giuseppe Bergomi with Inter, yes, it's true. But it's easy if we want to go with, look, here. Uh, if we want to go with Inter that won the Scudetto, there are a lot, huh? uh, Lucio, he won the Scudetto, no, ah, already added, indeed, Delivio, what Delivio? Pereira we have written already, Liam Brady, but Brady was only Juve, guys. Oof, I know he plays at India, it's true, it's true, it's true. Zoff. Udinese, and then Napoli, and then you, it's true. Alexis Sanchez won the school. Mm. Mm. I'm doubting about Sanchez. Let me know why. Pazienza, indeed, Michele, that's a name uh, that was easy, Platini won, Platini, and now wait, 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 what Platini, what Platini, he never played in these teams, calma, 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 guys, don't make me do mistakes, I don't want to have mistakes, huh? Delivio, incorrect player, you see, Delivio, Benatia was written, uh, Vidal written, uh, Ciao Defensive Dynamo, uh, Ericsson, Ericsson, he won, yeah, it's true, Mandragora, that's, that's a good shout, uh, yeah, he won the Euro Platini, but it's not it's not here it was it was a juve player but apia we already written pirlo is written lukaku lukaku perisic mamma mia what a game uh, i like i don't like that game it's too much inter influence de Shelle. no Altobelli, I think we have written already. Already written, yeah. Lautaro Martinez, did he win the Scudetto, Lautaro? Peluso, I don't think we have written. Ah, already, already Peluso. Boateng, what Boateng? He played at Sassuolo, he played at Udinese, but it, that's not what we are asking, eh? What button? Inter plus Euro Klinsmann. Can be a good name. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Handanovic also. Mamma mia, it looks like uh, Balzaretti. Oh? Please, ah no, but it's not correct. Motta. Tiago Motta. We have only 21%. Lotar Mateus. It's not written here. With double T. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Good shout. Sensi. Yeah, yeah. Sassuolo. Indeed. Marco Motta, we already written it, I believe. Motta. Yeah, yeah. We just read. Yeah, we. Müller. Müller, Müller. Andreas Müller won. I uh, know. Oh I'm too fast now. Tardelli. That's correct. Emerson with Juve. Won, yeah, he won Serie A with Juve, but it's it can't be here. Emerson. Because it's not. You, need, you see, it's not the same. Cabrini. No. Darmian, 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 Darmian. Did he win with Conte? 
yeah. Zanetti, Cristiano Zanetti played with both, it's true. Fratesi played at Sassuolo, played at, plays at Inter, but he never won yet the Scudetto, so it's not correct. Almiron, Almiron, indeed, Udinese, you, wow, there's a lot, huh? We don't have a lot of Udinese players that won the Euro. Zanetti, I think that we already written Zanetti. Which one? Javier Zanetti, no, indeed. Hernanes. Hernanes. Carini, indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, Ronaldo. Did he win the Scudetto with Inter? I don't think so. I don't think. Cambiasso. Esteban. He, yeah. Davids. We already have Petit. What Petit? Petit is Arsenal and Barcelona. He never played uh, here. Kimenti. Wait. Antonio. Grande. Udinese. Juve. Uh, Gagliardini. Tova, Tova, Tova. Tova? Did he win the Euro? Alessio. Mamma mia, disaster, Alessio. Uh, Rampulla. Yeah, you, you write names. Jorkaev. Jorkaev, Jorkaev, Jorkaev. Jorkaev, Yuri. Inter and Euro. Zanetti, Zanetti, Zanetti. Three times. Uh, we already read Zanetti. Milito. Milito. Diego Milito. Boom. Giulio Cesar. Yeah, which one? Eto, no, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, some, you're right, some, uh, Balotelli, we have only 26% filled, but this game is endless, Desai, but he played at Milan, uh, no, Desai didn't play at uh, Inter, eh? <laughs> Roggero, Sassuolo Juve, it's true, um, Zaza, we already written Zaza. I already added. But I don't want to write Materazzi, guys. I don't like Materazzi. No, I don't. I will pass Materazzi. Leonardo Cherry, 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 Cherry. Alberto. What? Incorrect. You played at Udinese and Juve. That was correct. Sensini. True. I will add uh, Materazzi, but uh, I don't like him. Eh? Uh, Pandev. Goran Pandev. Pirlo, uh, we already added. Raspadori won the Euro. <sighs> Grande, beautiful shout. Uh, if we can focus on Sassuolo, Euro. Jurgensen. He played at Udinese. And he won with Denmark and Jürgen, Martin Jürgensen, you see, Marrone, did we write Marrone, Luca Marrone, we didn't, and here he is, Boninsegna, Julio Cesar, we have written, let me check again, yeah, yeah, we already had it, Maicon, Ziegler, Ziegler, Ziegler. Oof, that's a good one, that's a good one, Angel Correa, oh, Joaquin, Joaquin, Neto, 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 Juve, no, Snyder, Wesley Snyder, Ciao Juan Mayo, Maicon, Ziegler, Snyder, uh, we miss, huh? Pietro Fana, who is that guy? I don't know, you're right, but I don't know, Boateng Sassuolo, but Sassuolo, what? Boateng, 
Ah, you won the Scudetto with Milan? It's true, it's true. It's a Sassuolo player that uh, won the Scudetto, it's true. Arnautovic. Muntari. Romagna. Alessio? No, Filippo, Romagna. Paul. This game it never ends, huh? Peruzzi, we already added Peruzzi. Politano, Politano, Politano. A che? Marle a che? It's true. Grande, who said that? Marle a che? Gulfos. De Frel, Grégoire De Frel. But why maybe? It's just to say a name. He will be incorrect. Look. Incorrect. Yeah, the frel, maybe. <laughs> Buonanotte, Mirza. Uh, I love you. Guy, guy, he, he, sometimes you make me really laugh. Uh, Laurent Blanc. Okay. Uh, let's try, let's try to find... Uh, another... Yeah, let's try to, to, to increase Udinese, Euro, Birov, wait, Birov, Oliver Birov, already added, ah yeah, that was really in the beginning, that was really in the beginning, Laurent Blanc read it, written, Fagioli no, Fagioli no, uh, uh, I thought, you know, like, wow, Birov, but no, we already have written that, um, and then we, you want to play another game? Zambrotta, no? Carini, did we? I think we already have written Carini. Not sure. Already added, yeah. De Vrai. Yeah. Meazza. It's true. It's true. Ah, they don't know Meazza. It's too far away. But that, that's true. That's true. Giuseppe Meazza played in both. The Legend of Inter. Can we get it to... No, it's too much. We have 32%. Zebina, what a name. Incorrect player. He played at Udinese and Juve. Ma. Ma. Um, storari, 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 storari. No. No. Massimo Mauro. Hey, look, they are, they all played, uh... Massimo Mauro, boom, did, Bognani, no, Bognani, no, ciao Mufid, uh, Brozovic, it's true, Amauri played, no, Jacko, Jacko, Jacko won. No. Barella, I think we have written Nicolo Barella yet. Yeah. Paulson, no. Uh, Skriniar. Isla. I don't think we have written Isla yet, huh? Yeah, already we did. Yeah, Quinta, I have already added. Di Natale, did he win the Scudetto? No. Quagliarella, we have already written. Quagliarella is already. Pepe, we have done it yet. That's already done. Oh, guys, basta. 33%. We try another game. It's too long, this one. Yeah, yeah, basta. You want to pick Icardi, last one? Ma, and we were wrong. Yeah, yeah, we stop. Great job. Great job. He's happy. He's happy. Um, okay. Another game. What do we play? Uh, okay, let's try this one. Let's try to find random. Huh? A player. Okay. This one, who is that guy? I think I know. It's Turam. Kefren Turam. Look, 
just like this. And you will see, we will win. So we need to try to guess. Kefren Turam. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. One guess. One guess. <laughs> Kefren Turam. We're speaking about him. Guys, this is uh, the eye of the tiger. This is, oh, this, is this is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Guys, I type in random a player Kefren Turam. I knew immediately. It's a sign. It is a sign, guys. It was written there. Right. In one guess. In one guess. You want to play again? This this game is nice, huh? Okay. Let's try again. Show photo. <laughs> Who's that guy? Can I make it bigger for you? Okay. Here. That's the biggest I can put it. Uh, hmm. That looks like... Uh, I don't know. No, it's not Koke. Koke? Let's try. Who said that? Koke? Fa Junior. Wow. One guess. Okay. Let's try another one. Eh. Here. I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. Looks like uh, a player from Arsenal or something like that. No, it's not Van Dijk. Danuma? He's playing in blue with Everton. No, no. Tony? It's okay. It's a Premier. Le okay, it's a Premier League player. It's a Premier League player. That's and he's younger than twenty eight. So it's not Salah. He has a shirt number smaller than 17. It's not English. Elanga. Mm. Okay, the shirt is older than 21. Older than 10. Eh, I was thinking as well, Gabriel. Magalaj. I think as well. No, okay. Okay, we know that this Premier League, it's a defender. Defender from Premier League that is older than 21, younger than 26. But he's not playing at uh, Gakpo. But Gakpo is not a defender. Rashford neither. Anthony neither. Saliba. William Saliba. Boom, boom. Oof. It's a French defender. Okay, pay attention. We don't have a lot of guesses now. Huh? It's a French French defender from Premier League that is twenty four or twenty five. Konate. It is Konate. It is Konate. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, we try another one. Another one. Okay, who's that guy? It looks like... Uh, that's tough. Huh? Who wants to go with the first guess? Moreno. Hey, Dybala is a good guess. Dybala is a fantastic guess. Boom. Boom. Who said that? Junior Mas. It is Dybala. Fantastic. Who said uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold? It's Dybala. Uh, no, another time? Another time? Let's go. Let's go. I like that game. Uh, this is an uh, Asian player. 100%. Asian player. I see it at the hair. It's not Sun. Minamino or, oof, yeah, red shirt. Yeah, yeah, red shirt, Minamino. Po, 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 po. You're strong, guys. You're strong, guys. Chapeau. Chapeau. 
Another one? Yeah, we like that game. Another one, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Who is that guy? That looks like a Premier League guy uh, from Aston Villa or uh, West Ham. Aston Villa, West Ham kind of guy. No? Di Gregorio, not bad. Paquet no, it's not Paqueta. Bruno Fernandes, but the shirt is not red enough from what I see here. Uh, you want to try with uh, Fernandes? Bah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's a Portuguese player from United Premier League, but it's not Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Portuguese, who do they have? They have uh, uh, the other young kid, Dalo. We found it, two guesses. Diego Dalo, grande Colo, ciao Colo. It's a long time ago. Hey, we win, he's back. We win, and Colo is back. Okay, we go win another one, or we change game. Okay, cha we change game, or we keep this one because this one is nice, huh? We change or we keep. Let me know. The first uh, five answers uh, are decisive. Change or keep? Keep, keep, play, play. We keep. Okay, we keep. Ah, uh, We keep another one. Okay, who is that guy? Uh red shirt he has hair uh, that's a tough one this this time i'm in difficulty muziala why muziala ah, yeah, 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 yeah 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 boom 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 po, 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 po. yeah Okay, 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 okay. We keep. Ah, this one looks like a Lazio player, kind of. Over or a goalkeeper. Even if it looks like more like a Cherby. This is not the brain. This is not the brain, guys. The hair is too brown. Lodi? Eh, Lodi is not a bad choice. I know, they don't know Lodi. Renan Lodi. He, he doesn't know the player. No. Okay. It is absolutely not Rodri. It's not Spanish. It's not playing in the Premier League. It's not from a city. It's not a midfielder. So we need to go with something else. Julian Alvarez can't be. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne can't be. Di Lorenzo. Mm. Mm. Okay. Serie A. Defender. Napoli, he's 30 years old, it's not Di Lorenzo, so uh, they have, who, who else is playing as a defender there at Napoli, Rahmani, yeah, 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 Grande Neven, Rahmani, okay, okay, another time and then we try to go for uh, another game, I like this, okay, Oof. <sighs> hey guys, help me. I don't know. Ogbonna is a good shout. Bah. Poof, 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 poof. That was a top, top shout. Fantastic. Hey, that deserves another guess. For another. Okay, who is this? Bellingham? Or uh, Ro uh, Rodrigo? That's Rodrigo. Alaba. Alaba is a, even a better choice. Alaba is a fantastic choice. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I knew it was from Simpa. You're good, huh? 
You are really good. What a team here. Yeah. Okay, another one. If we if we find in one, we continue. If we miss, then we stop. Okay, this one. We have to find... Ah, I know. It's Gvardiol. No? Oh, Masraoui. That's Masraoui. Masraoui. Guy, I take responsibility on this one. <laughs> we continue. We continue. We continue. Hey, if we are good, we are good. Huh? Here. It's a small guy. He looks like, a, again, a Napoli player. I wanted to say Insigne. Me, Gvara. That's Gvara Skelia. No? Yeah. A lot of people are together with me. This is game is too easy. This game is too easy. Okay. Uh, this player has transferred to a team outside. What is this game? Here. Uh, that's, Ar that's Arsenal. That's Arsenal, guys. Help me with the name. Uh... Party. Bravo. 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 Okay. Another one. <laughs> this is Arda Guler. Okay. Do I validate or not? I think it's Arda Guler. Oof. Okay. This is the last one, huh? because then we have to change. So it's a midfielder. It's not Arda Guler. I was sure it baby face. Uh, uh, it's a midfielder, Wirtz. I should have listened to you guys. I should have listened to you. Eh, I'm sorry. Okay, another game, another game. We play tic-tac-toe, uh, missing 11, football world. Find the footballer's surname. What is this? Messi Neuer Vardy. Okay, okay, okay. It's a player with four letters. Ah, but I don't think you will be able to play. Uh, okay, give me names with uh, players with four letters. Players with four letters. Uh, we need to find a player with four letters. Verdi is five, huh? Koke. Okay. All wrong. Uh, Saul. Okay, the A is on the right position. Saka. No, the S can't be. There is no S. Tony. No, because the second letter is an A. Guys, four letters. Guler is five. So we lead, we we are looking for a player. Salah, no, because there is no S. A player without S. The A is the second position. <laughs> I agree with Gulfos. <laughs> Sake, no, it's impossible. Sake because it starts with the S. So no S. Zaza, Zaza could be one. Why not? Oh, double A. It's second position is a A, fourth position is a A. What player do, do we know? Tata. Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. No, not Zaza, not Kaka. Lala. <laughs> Zaza, Kaka, Lala. Uh... Indeed, indeed. Oh, that's stupid. I should have known. Baba. Uh, Maya. We have a, I don't know if it's true or not now. Maya? Could be, huh? Yeah, but... No. no, it's not Maya. Hey, no. We have one guess over. Ma. And that. Mata. Me. Oh, this was was. Shh. Whoa. Okay. Football world. I like that. Let, let's try again one time. Where is it? It's gone. We can't play anymore. Ah. Eh, but I want to play. 
we can't it just ah it's it's only one per day this one it's stupid uh Complete the bingo card. Ah, let's play the bingo card. <coughs> okay. N timer. Okay, wait, wait. Kalulu, 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 Kalulu. And now we, now we can't play that game. We can't play that game. No. Here. Okay. Brazilian player with the most appearance for Manchester City. Yeah, yeah. It, it's... It is a positive. We, we win, so we stay. Okay, guys, help me. Brazilian player with most appearance for Manchester City. Fernandinho. Let's see. I trust you guys, huh? Boom. Fantastic. Uh, Ederson. We have three lives, huh? Oof, good one. Good one. Gabriel Jesus is a good shout. Uh, we have already the top three. Robinho, Robinho, Robinho. He played a lot, huh? In uh yeah. Should be sixth, seventh, okay. Um Ederson is already written. Nunez, but he's not Brazilian. Fernando, but we have Fernando. Danilo. Is Danilo a player? You believe he's in the top ten of all Brazilian? He played like how long? Two seasons? Oh yeah, oh yeah, who else? Brazilian player from Manchester City. We miss, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. we miss five. Fernando, ah, it's an, it's, yeah, but if you tell me Fernando, Fernando, boom. Grande, grande, I t but Tevez is not Brazilian. <laughs> Arif. Uh, anyway. Vlad is laughing, but Vlad is not telling me any names. Huh? Okay, we need uh, five more Brazilian players from City. I'm really bad. Vla yeah, Vlahovic. And Kiesa as well. Um, who? 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 I need Brazilian players from Manchester City. My con, my con, my con, my con. Did my con play at City? Yeah. I prefer the uh, Elano. Grande. I, I want to try with my con, huh? but pay attention because we have at the moment we have three lives. <sighs> we we lost one life. Lil G. Okay, we have only two more guesses. Robinho didn't yeah, we already it's already added to Robinho here. Neymar never played there. Uh, Rosa. Who is Rosa? Rosa is my mother. You know that my mother is called Rosa? And which? Diego Rosa can't be. Roberto Rosa? No, I... Uh, Diego Rosa is not, is not Brazilian. Diego Rosa is Argentinian or something like that. You know... Uh, we lost. We don't know. Douglas Lewis. Bravo. No. No, we... It's the last life. Guys, can we win this game? People are saying Joe, Joe. Fernando is already there. Ah, you, you don't see it well? Joe. Oof, I, I never heard about Joe. Fabinho, baby, play at Liverpool, guys. Giovanni. Yeah. Okay. One more. It's uh, in or out now. Felipe Luis. I don't trust you, Mufit, for a reason or another. The chat will decide if Mufit is right. 
Cauto, Cauto played at Liverpool, guys. Silvino. Where did it? Luckily, I didn't trust Mufid. I knew that Mufid. I didn't trust him. Grande, we won. Luckily, yeah. Luckily, luckily. Let's play again uh, with uh, ah, the career path. Look, okay. Player that started his career at Standard de Liège played 148 games, 33 goals. So I believe we are speaking about the striker Standard de Liège, or maybe it's Witzel. Axel Witzel. Boo. <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> oh, guys. Who else said they would sell? Junior Mas. Yeah, you know. Because uh, we live in Belgium, so we know. <laughs> oh, no. But it's so, it's already over. It's only one game per... Uh, one, one game per day. No. Give me another. I want to play. Ah, we have another. Okay, Red Bull Salzburg. <whistles> Red Bull Salzburg. Two thousand and sixteen, two thousand nineteen. Uh, Okay, it's he went on loan to Liefering and he's playing now in Bundesliga. Okay, it's a Bundesliga player. No, Danny Olmo could be Shoboslai, Dudu, Sabitzer. No, it's not, it's not a Dortmund player. Olmo. Oof. Okay, we have one guess over. Bundesliga player played at Salzburg and is now currently playing at Leipzig. Ah, indeed. Neven is telling me he played for Dynamo Zagreb, so it can't be him. It's not Openda because he played in France. We have one choice, huh? Sesco can... I would go for Seywald. I have. We lost. The player was Amadou Haidara. And nobody was able to guess it. Okay, another player. Karlsruher. Oh, guys, this is difficult. Huh? This is extremely difficult. Karlsruhe in uh, Germany. 50 games, 17 goals. 11-13. Impossible. How do you know that? It's already big if you know that the the team exists. That's really tough. Chanaloglu. No, Chanaloglu. Bah. I don't know. Hakan. How do you guess that? How did you guess that? <whistles> wow. Chapeau. Okay. Rapid Wien 2. But why, why, why always Germany? Germany, Austria. Rapid Wien 2. In 1517. He's changed a lot of clubs. Huh? In not a lot of years. So... Second division of Austria, Arnautovic. 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 No. <laughs> totally bad. Uh, then, first team, of course. Sabitzer. Uh, he's playing in Bundesliga, but it's not Sabitzer. Mm, it's tough, huh? Hey, you see now, people are quiet, huh, now? 
<coughs> Rapid Wien. Ah ja, hij played at Ajax. Oké, okay, oké, okay, oké. Okay. Player that is now playing in. Hij eh? played at Ajax. Maximilian Vodder. Poef. Grande Juve Pulls. Fantastic. Fantastic Juve Pulls. Hey, this one I didn't know. Chapeau. Here. FC Will. But how is this possible, guys? I, I don't even know what country it is. What is this country? FC Will. I don't know what country it is. FC Will. Hey, I don't know. Uh, guess. Guess. But which? FC Will. Will Hunting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, you weapons, I think you're cheating here. You're cheating. It is impossible, guy. How do... It's impossible. How do you know that? Eh. Basco, I stopped that game. I don't like that game. I will go again with the... Uh, guess the... Where is it? The game with the... Uh, yeah, with this one we played. Uh, here. Okay. Last time. Random. Who's that guy? White shirt. This could be... Nah, I was also thinking Hendrik, but it's only... If I'm not wrong, it's only top five leagues. <laughs> Militao? It's not bad, huh? It's not a bad choice, but it's wrong. It's a player from La Liga. He's older than 26. Rodrigo is younger than 26, huh? No? It's not a, it's not a Real Madrid player. Pepe is playing in Porto. It's a Portuguese player. NSV? No, but it's a player from Sevilla, forward st a striker from Sevilla. Ciao, Franco. Thank you for 40 months, my friend. Really appreciate it. Dropping the kids at school and I go to sleep. Fernandi, Lamela. No, it's, it's not Lamela. Eh, no, it's Fernandi. I believe it's Fernand. I know. Lamela is not even playing. Yeah? I don't. It's not Lamela, guys. You are crazy. Mariano Diaz makes sense. I eh, know. You think it's Lamela? Hey, you're right. Oh. Yeah, but what kind of picture is this? What kind of picture is this? Mo. That's, uh, they are fooling us. Here, a last one. Last one, and then we go to bed. Then we say goodbye. Who is that? This is, according to me, Oh, Giroud is a beautiful shout. Giroud is a beautiful shout, but I don't believe it is Giroud. Okay. I will type Giroud, but I don't think it's Giroud. Hey, hey. Uh, Giroud, the words that you could find. It's not French. It's not in Serie A. It's not player in Limila. It's not the forward. It's nothing. Okay, you're a disaster. Uh, that... Indeed, indeed, indeed. That's more logical. Bravo, bravo. Ben de Goose. Eh, Giroud, Giroud. Ma. Okay, we try another one. Show a photo. Oof. 
this is the pie. No. It's not the pie. It's not Dutch. It's not La Liga. It's not forward. It's nothing. It's younger than 30. Yeah, but we can't say every time, coke, coke, coke. Iñaki, Gabriel Jesus. No, because he has a big bird, beard. this guy okay beard here a lot of hair here no it's top five league guys you can't be cashier joe gomez we continue as long as we do perfect we continue <laughs> Who is that guy? It's a blue player. But it's a player from 22-23 uh, for a, a strange reason that I can't explain myself. It's Avatar. I agree, it's Avatar. Who is that blue player? I think it's... I think it's uh, Insigne. No, oh, impossible. Boo. I also thought it was Insignia, but it's not Insignia. Uh, wait, this one is not working properly. Okay, let's try another one. But why are they giving me 22, 23 season? Okay. Uh, it's only blue players today. I don't know, guys. Foden? No, it's not a Manchester City player. Cost it. No, it's English and Premier League. White. No, it's blue. It's blue. Guys, you're really blue. Please, white. It's blue. White. You see, I told you it was not white. Madison, Ben White. No, it's not Ben White. Tripier, nah. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Now we have. Okay, but we are wrong. We we don't pay attention. He's younger than twenty six. English player. Foden is playing at Manchester City. It's not a City player. Wilshire. Eh, but Wilshire is not from uh <laughs> No. It's not a defender indeed. Eh, we, we we continue defender, 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 it's not a defender. Barclay could be. Oh, but this, no. Locatelli needs to go. Eh, okay, but that's not Locatelli guy, eh? Calvin Phillips. No. Pope. Nick Pope. And now we said it's not Newcastle. Mount. Okay, we found it. But why are they putting players in with blue faces? Again, a blue face. I don't like this. Okay, let's do the one of today. Can we do the one of today? La Seria. Bungs. Okay. We go. Seria should be easier. We go with Seria. Boom. Okay, that's that's our field. Seria, a hidden picture. Majority is in Karsdorp. 
and majority is right. Wow. Uh, because you already played. That's why you know. Chapeau. Oh, you see? Total tries to 100% success. Who are you? I am uh, Giuseppe Bognani. Super draft sucker. What does that even mean? Complete the starting lineup with a random challenge. Build your ultimate team from the big five teams. Today's challenge, the most valuable 11. Lyon. Okay, this... Well, no, I don't like this game. I will go to bed. Who is, this, who is the most valuable player from Lyon? Most valuable player from Lyon. Ah, the game. Uh, the page. It's uh, playfootball.games. Playfootball.games. Cherki. Ah, Lopez is not a bad choice, huh? Anthony Lopez. Thank you for our seven months, Lil G. Anthony Lopez. Yeah, let's go with Lopez. I like that choice. Only five million euro. Mamma mia. Okay, Manchester United. Most valuable player from Manchester United. Who is the most valuable player from Manchester United? It's uh, Kobe Mainu. <laughs> Maguire. Garnacho, Garna Rashford, Anthony. Uh, is Rashford the most valuable one? I think that Anthony dropped a lot. Holland huh? could be. Uh, uh, let's put Rashford here, huh, guys. Rashford. 70 million. Whoa, that's a beautiful one. That's a real beautiful one. Okay. Sevilla player. Expensive player from Sevilla. Um, expensive player from Sevilla. I want a really expensive one. Eh? And Nesri then. And Nesri, indeed. Okay, 18 million. Barcelona. 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 Is he expensive, the young kid? Lamal. I don't know the, the price of these players. Huh? Yeah, I know. It's Yamal, Yamal, Yamal. I agree with uh, Angelo or Angelo. Look at that. Boom. 90 million euro. Boom. Gavi. <laughs> Aston Villa. Hmm. Unai Emery. Who do we play for Aston Villa, guys? Expensive player from Aston Villa. Watkins. Douglas Lewis. Yeah, but we need to pay attention. Huh? Because then we play Douglas Lewis. And then we don't, don't have slots anymore. Because it's also the, the position that counts. Huh? Hey, you need to think smart. Because if we just put striker, strikers. Then we have a problem. I try, I trust you, huh, but. Oh, not bad. 60 million is not bad. It's not bad. Napoli. <laughs> Ossiman. Ossiman, of course. Ossiman. 110 million here. You see why we. Sh you see 
Kvaratskaya? Who is Kvaratskaya? The other one has 110. Tottenham. Tottenham. Uh, Dragujin, no. We, uh, we need to find defenders as well. Huh? Romero. Beautiful. 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 Defender. Christian Romero. 65. We have a great team. <gasps> Udoge was a good shot. Son, no, it's impossible, son. Okay, Inter Milan. Or, or Barella. Bastoni is a great choice. Di Marco. <sighs> Who do we put? Who is the most expensive one, do you think? Di Marco or Barella? Uh, or Bastoni or Barella? I would go for a defender because we have a lot of spots there. I want to keep a midfielder. Di Marco, 50 million. And Bastoni. Eh, a lot of people are saying Bastoni, Bastoni, Bastoni. Bastoni is younger. I trust the Bastoni ones. Sixty million. Lazio. <coughs> yeah, but Lazio is shit. Huh? They don't have expensive players. Luis Alberto, but he's super old. He's worth nothing. A chair is from Inter. He's all end of career. For Lazio, we can go for uh, Ravel. No, I don't want to spend my money on Ravel. Gwendozi, is he, 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 does he cost a lot? Igor Tudor. Uh... The goalkeeper we already have. Huh? I don't want to spend... No. Then I prefer to put, you know, something like... Uh, Casale or something like that. Yeah. Let, let's sacrifice. Let's sacrifice. We know it will not... Uh, Oh oh oh, 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 20 million euro. Okay, Chelsea. They have a lot. Or we go with a defender or we go with a midfielder. Ch they have a lot, Chelsea. Yeah? And Kunku and so on. Uh, Enzo Fernandez is fantastic uh, pick. Fantastic pick. Malo Gusto as well. Oof, they have a lot. Huh? They have a lot. Uh, but Enzo, Enzo is the most expensive one. Enzo, uh, eighty million. Okay, now we are obliged to go for Alexander Arnold, guys. Oh, Liverpool, that's a really good one. Liverpool, Alex uh, Trent, indeed, indeed. <laughs> Seventy million euro, mamma mia! What a team! What was six hundred forty-eight? Share image generate. Look at the team: six hundred forty-eight million euro. Okay, I tell you the team. Huh? Anthony Lopez in goal, and then you have a defense. Can that team win big? Okay, listen well. Huh? Listen well. Can this team do really well or not? Anthony Lopez in goal. Alexander Arnold. Bastoni. Christian Romero. Casale. David Luiz. Gavi. Enzo Fernandez. Rashford. Nesri Osimen. Eh. I don't know if this team is uh, balanced. I don't think. I don't think that this team can do something huge. I think it's a uh, unbalanced team. Huh? I don't know. This team. This team doesn't work. This team works zero. 
<laughs> it's nice, but uh, it's pri- it costs a lot, but uh, no. Uh, indeed, I, I agree with Angelo. This team is okay, it's beautifully with market value, but it makes totally no sense. Uh, yeah, that's a PSG team. PSG, they say, okay, let's go. Bam, boom. Uh, the big question I have now, because how long we are playing now since, uh, well, one hour, I believe. Is this a thing that I should do like, uh, just like this? For example, I don't know, tu- uh, no, Tuesday there is a, t- what day are we today? Uh, well, maybe, I don't know, Thursday, only this. We just play, just games. Ah, but then we do it on uh, the other channel. We do it on football, because here it's not only you, eh? We do we do a live, a live on football. I like that. Just for fun, we don't care. We play. Live, Thursday, boom. Is there is there some games on Thursday? Let me check. We will check. Thursday, Thursday. Ah, mamma mia. There is Liverpool, Sheffield United, <sighs> Chelsea, Manchester United. Ooh, 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 ooh. There are a few games, huh? Uh, but maybe, maybe after the, the games. Maybe after Chelsea, Manchester United, we can do that. I like that. And we do a game like that. Boom, we play. I like. We will do that. Ragazzi, thank you. Forza, you. I forgot that we were actually speaking about Juve today. But uh, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for the people that stayed together with me. Let me check if we uh, increased here. Aya, 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 aya. We lost one. We started today with 28.995. We are at 29.12. I like it. You are just fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Juventini of the world. Thank you. And we see each other tomorrow morning for a, a real analyze of uh, Juvelat. So the one, the game. What were you doing? Who is that guy? Who is that guy that just left? Why? The life is over, then you leave. No. And no. This is not how it works. Ciao, AJ. Ah, ciao, ciao, AJ. Um, hey. Buonanotte a tutti. Ciao.